What's going down, T subs and T squad? What's good? Y'all already know what to do. Please, it's 45 people. Get these likes up, y'all. I keep trying to tell y'all, YouTube don't like me, girl. All right, YouTube don't like me. The algorithm don't like me. And apparently, y'all hoes don't like me either because I got to keep telling y'all to get these damn likes up. Ciao. <sighs> Anywho, what's good though, y'all? Shout out to the people that's up in here. Um, it's gonna be more folk that's gonna come. We could be up here for about an hour and some change, cause that's how long. Uh, what's the man name? Trey. Uh, that's how long he went live. Um, well, did this interview or whatever the case may be. So we got some things to talk about, some things to discuss. We're going to listen to the whole hour interview. We're going to listen to it. I'm going to pause, say my little two cents, but we're going to listen to the whole thing. All right. Um, but before we do all of that, y'all know I get started at the 10 minute mark. So in the meantime and in between time, y'all make sure to follow the social medias that you guys see before y'all. Um, shout out to everybody that has been following the channel, Instagram, as well as the channel, Twitter, continue to follow both of those, but more importantly, the Twitter, because, you know, Instagram does what it's supposed to do. All right. That always does good. And people always want to follow the Instagram. But if you have a Twitter slash X, please make sure to follow it. Anybody that would like to donate to the channel, the PayPal and Cash App is available. Shout out to the two Cash Apps, Cash Appers. They cashed at me this morning. I woke up to two cash app. So I totally appreciate y'all. Um, the two of y'all that did that for me, it was greatly appreciated. Unexpected. Thank you guys so much. And you could join the channel. I have two channels. If you would like to join them, feel free. If not, you're still welcome. Child, look, we got a lot to unpack. It's a lot going on. Um, I don't really know what to say. I don't really know where to start. But y'all already know we hear the gag. Um, she by panhandling. What where, where the hell is this man money at? You panhandling ass whore. Where is this man money at? You penniless whore. Where is this man money at? This man want his coin, and I ain't mad with the man. I ain't mad with the man. The gag is I don't even know why he came up here to talk this shit. I'd have took your ass, slammed the judge Judy. <laughs> Okay, if it was me, you would be slammed and judge Judge Judith Shineland's uh, court. You really would have been. If it were me. Um, but you know, everybody ain't me. So we'll we'll get but I will say this though, uh Tay, Trey, what's what's what the hell the man name is? Trey, I will say this, though. In 2023, if anybody's still doing business with she by panhandling, you the one with the issue, too, bitch. Because everybody already knows that she by not a goddamn thing pays is she by no damn by D. So I don't know why you thought that she was going to be any different than anybody else that she don't work with, friend. I'm just saying. Now, I ain't trying to say it's your fault, but some people can't say it is because what the hell was you expecting from her? But we'll get there when we get there, Trey, because I don't know nothing about you. I ain't need to read you down like that. Um, but I'm just saying the people that are saying that they make great sense. <laughs> OK, they make great sense when they say that. I'm just saying. Um, but shout out to everybody that's here. Nikki, Jennifer, LaBaby, Ravine, Sharice, Carissa. What's good, girl? Um, Simona, E Boogie, yes, what's good, all y'all? Who else up in here? Alicia, shout out to you. Hey, Brandon, what's good, friend? Q, I'm just gonna call you Q. Q U E T T E Q E Q E. I don't know how you say your name, baby, but I appreciate you for being here, child. Demetria, um, Emily, y'all know I'm bad with names. Uh, Lock Queen, April Morgan. Shout out to April Morgan. April always be here, child. Um, and I appreciate it. Hey, Ashley Powell. What's good to everybody that's coming in? Again, y'all make sure to like up this lab. When you enter the chat, like the lab. 
All right. Don't tell, don't come in the chat saying a motherfucking thing until you hit that damn like button. Then you could talk. That's why I be putting it on subscribers only mode. See, because subscribers only, you can't say shit until you subscribe and like and all of that. But I said, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to hold the last hostages like a lot of people do. I should, but I ain't. <laughs> I should, but I ain't. Um, what's good, Shayna? Felicia, what's good? Symmetry, what's good, boo? How you doing? Hey, ST. Hey, Kayla Campbell. What's good, friend? Y'all make sure to like up the live as y'all enter. It's already 83 people. Y'all may, it should be 83 likes. 83 people should equal 83 likes, not 57. But um, the math ain't math. And I ain't saying I'm the most smartest mofo. All right. But girl, I, I was smart enough to graduate elementary, middle, high, and college. All four, I had to take math courses. The math ain't math. So can y'all please do what y'all do? And it is greatly appreciated. What's good, uh, Pazmira? I know I said your name wrong. What's good, Montrez? How you doing, friend? What's good, SC? What's good, Black Empress? Yes. What's good, boo? Or BK's Empress? Ciao. I'm here, honey. Y'all see how I got the uh, soldiers rain down the coins. All right, this is all that Trey wants she by panhandling to do. It's just rain down the damn coins, rain down the funds, quit playing, quit acting like you got it like that when you know you really don't, because if you did, you would have paid this man his money. The people is getting so sick and tired of it, she by panhandling. They tired of it, girl. They tired of you running around here trying to act like you got it like that and you that bitch like that and you that cunty bitch like that, but yet you can't pay your damn funds. You can't pay your way. You can't pay your bill. You can't pay your tab. What's T? Speaking of being paid, shout out to you, friend, for the cash app. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> See, she about out a goddamn thing. You panhandling half ass you. I got people cash apping me right now, friend. Maybe that's what you need to do, she about no such thing. Maybe you need to go live and talk to folks or whatever the case may be, and then maybe they'll cash app you, and whatever contributions you get, you could just send it on to Trey and Rewan for that, for that matter. Although, if, 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 shit, the gag is Rowan really don't deserve not a damn thing because why would you pay another bitch's tab? Rowan, is she paying your bills? Did she bother to pay a light bill, a phone bill, rent, mortgage? Okay, Fios bundles is almost as about as high as a goddamn $200, just about $250, $260 if you go to some places. Did she pay any of that? And you running around here. Could have been me, Ron. What's good, Dorian? How you doing, friend? But what would she have to talk about? I don't know. Talk about something, anything to, 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 to get this man money. All right? She could talk about anything to get this man money. If he deserve it. Because at this point, like I say, in 2023, if anybody decides to work by she by panhandling, this is what you're going to get. Anywho. So I'm going to go on ahead and go on ahead and start this. I love you too, Dorian. Dorian. So listen, oh boy, his name is, hold on. His name is Trey Lawan, um, born billionaire. He got a YouTube, by the way. I guess this is his YouTube channel that he did this on. And he did this 18 hours ago, yesterday, last night. And he came up here and he was letting everybody know about she by not a goddamn thing and how she ain't doing what she was supposed to do and so on and so forth. So, yeah, the interview is uh, is one hour, an hour and a minute. And we're going to listen to the whole damn thing because we ain't got nothing else to do, child. So we're going to listen to the whole damn thing. Y'all make sure to continue to get these likes up. All of my mods continue to spam in the comments to remind the people to like. Um, if anybody would like to donate, please feel free, you guys. Um, it is greatly appreciated, especially right now, because a bit struggling. So, uh, so please, my, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Okay, bills is kicking my ass, and life is kicking my ass. So, it is greatly appreciated. Thank y'all so much. Now, let's go on ahead and get down to what Trey. 
uh, run around here talking about. And let's see what he got to say for himself. Because again, I say anybody that's trying to work with she by not she by not a goddamn thing in 2023, already knowing her history and not paying folk. But whatever. We're gonna go on ahead and listen to it. So here you go. I'm still here though, friend. I'm still here. <laughs> For y'all best, best of y'all best to the worst of the worst. Like I work from A list to F list. I work all the list. You see me? Can y'all hear? My first, I was 18 when my space. Hold on. Can y'all hear? Before I could, because it's an hour. All right. So I need to know beforehand, even just that little bit. Can y'all hear? Is it too loud? Is it too low? Is it what? Yeah. Y'all can hear. Y'all can hear. Fine. We can keep going. Jump right, you feel me? My first client flew me to New York, paid me five bands to style him for one night to go to the club, and that was yeah. a basketball player. You and that's know back what in the day when gas was you know. MySpace was fun. You feel me? I had a top eight, nigga. Yeah. you feel me? But I was a nigga on MySpace, I had a, I had 1.5 million followers yeah. on me, you know what I'm saying, on MySpace. So I was the nigga on MySpace because I was one of the only ones in Miami really doing like new shit when it comes down to custom. You know what I'm saying? So fast forward, took over Miami completely. If you from Miami or down south, you know me, period. You know what I'm saying? And that's not me bragging. That's me just staying fast. Because today, all we're doing is staying fast. We got receipts. People want to get on. Get on. Uh -oh. They want to do it. They want to go on. They want to go on national TV with yeah. they little Manila photos. <laughs> mine too, baby. And I got all the facts. And my thing, my thing, and it's all about you, baby. You already know what time we're going We gon' we gonna get that up. But now nah, I work with everybody from men to female, from alterations to making stuff right. like from from Jamaicans like Benny Man, Sean Paul, all of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well. I, not Sean Paul. I, I did a little something with Sean Paul, but I ain't gonna really claim him. But we'll say Benny Man, right. Spice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got Evelyn, them nigga. I was on, I did stuff for basketball wise. I did stuff, BTJ back in the day, nigga. My first, I did a movie, good hell, with Chris Rock now, you feel me? I was on there and got credits with B uh, HBO. Uh, nigga, I done did. Man, I done did so much shit. So and much. Then, I know, man. And then when it comes down to the business, nigga, I have built. At least, like I'm, a, I, I consult with businesses. I help them build a brand, right. help them get to a certain level so where they can start manufacturing. You right. know what I'm saying? So I done built at least three businesses I know right now that's still popping. They multi millionaires. I ain't gonna put them out there because I don't know if they want. You know, we got NDAs and all this right. stuff. But nigga, but then see, I went to school for this. You know what I'm saying? I went to art institute. So ain't okay. like I just jumped down one of them niggas that just said, oh, I'm full of start doing it, nigga. I am educated right. in this. I have worked with Fendi. I have worked with Armani Ar 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 Exchange. I have worked with uh, uh, Roberto Cavalli. I have worked with uh, Gucci like, while I was in school. I interned right. with all these people. Uh, 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 with uh, mm -hmm. Abercrombie and Fitch. You get what I'm saying? Right. I interned with them. I have records of me interning with them and submitting designs. Hi, friend. Them. When I is you going to get to... What I did, I'm really... In I got emails with me and him. Emails with Hold me. on, friend. I build my name off my work. If you like me, you like my work. Period. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you call me, you call me for my work. I don't go through, I go through, um, I work with a whole lot of stylists and I work out. Hold on. I don't know. That's actually a real good question. Now, he's worked with a lot, according to him, and I have no reason to think he's lying or discredit him or nothing, because I don't know. But according to him, he worked for so many people. It is kind of like, well, if you worked for all of these folk, why the hell is you running around here slumming it up with she been out of goddamn thing? I mean, you know, no, no tea, no shade. You know what I'm saying? But when we go get to the good stuff, friend, no shade. You said at the eight minute mark, all right. Thank you, friend. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the resume and all that. But when we get into the good shit, so I guess this is the good shit. So here you go. Thank you, friend, for your cash app too, boo. One, one, one. I love you, babe. Thank you. All right, y'all. So here you go. And we're not doing that. You feel me? So did you get paid for your work? I did not get paid for my work. I got reimbursed for my work. And okay. I have the evidence to show that I got reimbursed for my work. We didn't even get to the point of well, how much your labor is, how much your time is, none of that. So you didn't get paid for anything but reimbursed for what I just got reimbursed what I put out. In fact, I didn't even get all that. I just got 2000 And that was not the agreement? That was not the agreement. 
at all. Sure so, man. okay, so let's, let's go back. Let's go back to 2022. Uh-oh. In fact, we'll go back to 2022, uh, January, the, the, the first email, bam. January 31st at 5.47 p.m. from Rowan. Now, let me explain who Rowan is. Rowan is the middleman between me and Sheree. Okay. Most of the time I work with celebrities, it's through somebody. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, like I'm, I'm the okay. So I'm the last. I'm known as the last man king. Explain I work that fa- to people. I work fast. So it's like if you call me today, I can make shit happen. I'm like the Olivia Pope or fashion. Gotcha. I saved you niggas. You feel me? He saved so me a few times. My whole That's thing cool. is, is this. Like so, everybody know that. Everybody know they come to me. If you want to need some last minute, shit ain't go through. You couldn't get this. You couldn't get that. I either can replicate it, make it, get it, or best believe we gonna get it done. It's gonna be because fine. it's gonna get done. Yeah. If you call me, it's yeah. gonna get done. Period. I don't give a fuck. I gotta glue that bitch on you while you on set. You gonna have what you ask for. That's just straight up. That's just being real straight up. It is what it is. I'm gonna make that bitch happen. You know what I'm saying? And the front is going to look good, man. In the back, you might be fucked up, but I'm going to get you what you need. But you got to pay me for my time because I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Been doing this too long. So let's go back to January 31st. Okay. Rowan texts me. She asked me, can you come and meet me at her shop? She got a she got a shop. Not going to shout her shop out. But she got a shop down in Atlanta. And she was like, can you meet me at 7.30 p.m.? Didn't tell me what it was about or nothing. I just need to meet you. I got a project. I want to see if you want to be part of. No problem. Cool. I shows up one time. Boom. So we sit there. I walk in. She's sitting on the couch. Rowan sitting there. Now, Rowan, she have a dress shop. She sells dress from anywhere from her cheapest dress is five thousand, like maybe forty two hundred dollars, all the way up to maybe twenty, thirty, forty. Hold up, did you say this woman's cheapest dress was four stacks? Now I ain't never heard of Rowan and her cheapest dress. So did that must mean the cheapest shit that that she got nine times out of ten comes with no jewels, no sequins, no Ferrari crystals, no French, no none of that. It is, it's just a plain, simple, ordinary, in, in, any old you can wear you can wear it to the club or to the church on first Sunday type of address. And that cheap the cheap the cheap shit is four stacks, and maybe it is. I don't know. That look like I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. We're going to keep going. Thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So this ain't no cheap. She already know when she called me. I done replicated dresses for her. And she already knows she paying me every bit of five, six thousand dollars walking through the door. And, and it's never been a problem. She always paid, always good. So we have a good rapport with each other. Right. So she like, okay, Sheree came to her need a fashion show. Rowan throw fashion show. She right. had some of the best fashion shows in the I mean, she had a shop in, in Phil's Plaza. So she is top notch. So for her to come to me, so you can't you can't discredit me. You gonna understand why I'm saying this now. Don't discredit me when I can remake a ten thousand dollar dress on a twenty five hundred dollar budget or a thousand dollar budget because I done did it for her. Right. So she can make her money, I make my money, we got an agreement. Right. Cool. All right, so she called me. I walked in, she you know, Sheree sitting down, you know, how you doing, whatever, whatever, blah. We sit down. So they explained to me that. You know, Sheree has some, you know, coming up. I mean, she had a fashion show coming up. All her designs not going to be here on time for the, for the event. Now, mind you, it's three weeks out. So, in my head, I'm like, why do you, like, any manufacturer, you pay them extra, they'll get you your shit. Hey, Latoya, this designer in particular is the one that's responsible for she by not a goddamn things fashion show last season. You remember the, the finale? from last season and all of those runway pieces, this is who this is. He's responsible for this. For that, should I say. Uh, Thank you, love, for your PayPal, boo. I see you. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. I love y'all down. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Anybody else, feel free. Um, But yeah, Latoya, that's who he is, who made those things last season. For that, that's that's him. Alleged. Time. So you can't play with me when it comes down to manufacturing, anything with fashion. Don't play with me because I know how this shit go. Right. If you got the money, they'll get that shit to you. Right. You get what I'm saying? All right, cool. So she was playing, oh, it's not going to be here on time. So I said, pay extra. It'll get here on time. Right. So now what? You ain't never submit the designs. You ain't never submit the flats. You ain't never submit the, the, the measurements. You never did the, you never did the work. You ain't never have shit come. 
Right. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? But again, I play dumb. Like, oh, okay, cool. So what we doing? I don't give a fuck about all that, what you did. What we doing, what you need me for? That's all I care about. <laughs> all right, cool. So, you know, so we sitting there. So she said, we just need six to eight looks. Hold on. Say while well, I'm talking. Uh, let, me, let me find the six to eight looks. Hold on, y'all. Uh oh, he's pulling out the seats, bitch. Hold on, right here. This text message right here. What did that say? Eight, eight. for eight well, and two for her, right? Yeah. Okay. He's my receipt, y'all. That say eight and two for her, right? For okay, so that's ten. Now, right here. Okay, so before we, I ain't gonna skip. So, bomb. So we sitting up. So while they telling me, oh, we just need six to eight looks. Da 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 da. da. Everything else coming. Boom, boom, boom. We got. She put out a bag or some bullshit. We got this. We got that. Like some tights and body suits that you can get from around the corner. Right. You know what I'm saying? Regular black body suit with a little stitch on it say she about to write. Okay, cool. All right. I was like, so what you need me to do? She like, I need some runway pieces. I need something that's fire. I need something that's going to make my brand look like, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Do you got designs? No. So you need me to design? What else you need? She was like, well, after you design it, I need to give it to the manufacturer. Okay, so now you need specs. You need flats. And you need uh, and you need your uh, your patterns. Yeah, okay, cool. When you need this by? I need this in seven days. Huh? Okay. I said, okay, cool. I said, but you only need six to eight. Yeah, okay, cool. How much something like that costs? Well, one I already you. know my business, I said I already do this. I do this for a living. So she already know I'm already at 15, 20 bands Thank you. out the door if you're trying to go to a manufacturer. Straight up, because you're not trying to go to the manufacturer with anything less than 50 bands. So what I'm charging you, it's gonna be 35 at the manufacturer to get your specs, to get your samples, and to get your uh, to get your patterns made. That's off rip just to get your color line started. You 35 thousand in. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I figure, okay, cool. You come to me, I do it with 15. Or okay. uh, 20, depending on how many pieces you want. You know what I'm saying? So she already know in her head, Rowan already got in her head, it's 15, it's going to at least be 15 bands. So with that in her head, while we sitting there talking, at 9.07, January 3rd, on a Monday, this hoe said, give me 15 to 20% of whatever thing. you charge her. Because in <laughs> her head, she already know, I'm going to walk away with at least about three, four bands just off connecting y'all because I already know your prices. Right. Rowan know my price. We've been working for a year. All right, cool. I, so she texting me this watch your rate, watch your rate, telling me everything she need. I'm giving her now the game. If you try to go to the manufacturer, you're gonna need this, that, that. You need a lookbook. You need your samples. Right. You need this. You need that. I'm telling her everything she need. All right, cool. For me to do all that in seven days, it could be done because a nigga ain't gonna sleep if you pay right. straight up. Uh, so if, period, uh, it could get That's done real shit. if you pay me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So she said, okay, how much everything going to be? I said, the lowest I can go is 10 bands. That was the first thing I said. The lowest I could go fast. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking you should rate. Nigga, you got 10 bands. Yeah, that's nothing. Like, you on national TV. Bravo paying you. You can't tell me Bravo not paying you. She got the biggest You're the motherfucking the Chateau. Show. She got the it's chest, it's chest thing. Yeah. You feel me? You got some. You got some jury you can pawn. You got something. But nigga, <laughs> when you want that business, jury you they going to do what they need to do to get their business. Why? You going to get it back. You double, feel me? Triple. So that let me know she ain't street smart, no, she ain't no hustler. Because if you was a hustler, you don't want to pawn the rain real quick. Let me get this little 20 bands, shoot Man. this nigga this little money, get what I need to get, and I'm going to get it back. You on national TV. If you were smart, you would have used me and said, listen, let's do all this. Find me somebody to set up my website. Let me give you an extra little couple Man. dollars. You, I could have called y'all. We would have did it. Set her, website, set, right. us up. Set, set her shit up real quick. And would have made, she would have. I don't advertise that shit on, on Housewives. You would have made your money back. You would have made triple that. And you would have one night. You would have sold out at least made at least two hundred thousand. It was and one night. More than that. More than yeah. that. Cause, cause if you look at my numbers on my website, I she got millions of followers. Yeah. I ain't got I got a couple thousand. She got millions. And she got support from all the girls who posted. Everybody so supports you. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody supports you. You've been on the national. And I think that's the big question. Like, why wouldn't she just do her business right? Because it would have still been more profitable than But not. everything I'm telling you like this, I'm telling her. I'm excited. You know, when I get in, I'm like, you can make I know for a fact you can hit a half a million in a week if you do this, right. that, 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 and that. I'm I'm showing her her profit margins. I'm showing like I'm, I'm I know business and I know fashion. I don't know how to sell shit. I can tell you some business. Right. And I'm a great at sales. Yeah. If you would have just, I said, but look, if you hire these people, do this right here, do this like this, I promise you, you'll get at least five hundred thousand. Yeah. So that's a hell of a return, nigga. You putting in twenty thousand in front of make five hundred in a week. And a purse cost. Mind you, in. mind you, this last minute. 
That means if we ain't got to wait months. Your shit going to drop on the 17th. I got manufacturers in the bag that I already fucked with that I could just go sit down and get them all this shit at that done. moment. Yeah. That's what I was going to do for her. You know something, Taurus? I could kind of get with that, too, because and I see a lot of y'all in the comments is like, but where's the contract? Where's the contract? Where's the contract? Where's the contract? And I agree with y'all. Because I'm more than sure, Trey, considering that you worked for Fendi, Prada, Louis, Gucci, Coach, you know, Balmain, you know what I'm saying? Rashida, the prune juice and press. You know what I'm saying? Considering that you worked for people like that, I'm more than sure you had a contract way before any of that. And more than likely money and all of that was already talked about and secured. So I don't know. I kind of agree with the people on that. Like you don't get me wrong. You got a real cute resume and you've worked for a lot of people. So with that being the case, I can understand people that are a little baffled, taken aback and confused about how you was doing this for she by not a goddamn thing with no contract. I mean, I, no shade to him. Now, maybe this was just, maybe he was cool with Sheree and he thought Sheree wouldn't do him like that. I don't know. But I just feel like even though you're cool with somebody, you still need to have a damn contract. We could be friends all day. But when it comes down to business, the best way to handle business, especially with somebody that you know or a brilliant bitch you don't know, is to have a damn contract, something legally binding, something that says, come hella hot water, I don't give a damn. If I do this for you, contractually, this is what I'm owed. I, again. I'm not a bit. I, I was supposed to go to school for business. I didn't. I went for nursing. So I'm not there with all of that. But, you know, I just asking, friend, but we can move on. Like, how was one? We're going to get this money. Okay. I ain't even tell you how much I want to run. I ain't, we ain't even talk. We ain't even go that deep in business because mama was already, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, fuck, she doing all this for me. Right. So when I'm, we talking, I'm doing all that. Okay, so this next test match, I told her, well, send me your logo in the middle of talking and, and, and trying to figure out shit. That's how I know she ain't know nothing about business or she ain't never do shit in fashion. Fashion costs. Right. Straight up. Because you're getting units. You're not getting one or two things. You get, you're get doing shit by 10,000, 3,000, 4,000. You get what I'm saying? You're doing it by units. Right. So I told her, I say, so when we do it by units, look, fuck that. Send me your logo, send me everything. When she sent me this, I sent it to Casey. I sent it to Yoko. I sent it to him. In fact, I sent it to them. Yeah. You feel me? Hang on right here. Just the logo right here. Yeah. Casey could not do it because she sent me a fucking picture. He had to remake everything. He charged me for it. Yeah. I don't blame him. This for Sheree. She bought Sheree. I need yeah. 250 overnight. I just need my shit in the morning. Yeah. Casey did that shit in the hour. I gave him that. You feel me? He did do that bitch in the hour. Yeah. I gave him his 250. He got me what I needed. Cool. We did that while we were still in the meeting the first day. I don't even know if I got the job and I already got your shit. Get, I'm already working. I'm that nigga. That's what they don't understand. They keep playing with me. Boom. So we sit there. I say the price. I say the price, right? Boom. Here go the next. Here go the next. Because you going, okay. I said 5000 This row one. Okay. Her homegirl. What'd that say? Go ahead. I ain't going to say it. Don't go too low. Right. I said 5000 She said, don't go too low. Yeah. Cause I, I, she wanted, me, she wanted to help. She people. already know it was. All, she already know two thousand. Reason being, cause she gonna get what they say, fifteen twenty percent. If I say five bands, you ain't really getting shit. She wanted me to say my twenty thirty price. I usually say to everybody yeah. else, why the fuck you charging regular people twenty thirty and you charge this bitch five thousand? Then she texts me while we sitting there. Don't go too low. Yeah, she did. Right, you see it. See okay, it. cool. So I'm like, damn. So we texting back and forth. Like, I, I ain't lying. Like, Sheree right. talking, but we looking at her face. I said five bands. I'm looking at, just like she be on housewife with that stupid ass look, about to lie, stuttering and shit. I'm like, okay. So I'm texting her wrong. I don't think she can afford it. You know what I'm saying? I said, all right, cool. I said, it's impossible. I said, then she said, I'm not, I want to try to go more than like 2000 $1,500. i will post right here. What'd that say? Impossible to do it really less than $1,500. I said, I can't do shit for 1500 to 2500 That's really low, right? Mm -hmm. While she's still talking, talking shit, Rowan said, if she keep pushing, take mine off. It's okay. Yeah. Right? I, see it, I right. said, bro, that's dirt cheap. Did I not? Right. Yeah. 
Okay, I know that's why. And then we start talking. And she said, "Oh, I know that's why." Wow. Then we we stop texting. And we start talking, and we start telling Sheree the game. Okay, for you to get this, that, that, and that, and that, we start feeding her the games, telling wow. her how shit go in the fashion world, because clearly she don't know. So wow. let me educate you, so you understand where we coming from, so you don't feel like somebody getting over on you, yeah. or you don't feel like whatever. First of all, you last minute, so oh, you got to pay me yeah. straight up. That's time. I ain't like. Um, why do y'all? Why are y'all sad? Alien rewind. Because I think it was Chef Don Don who did a video who was saying that Rewan won't end the city either. Is it something I missed? Why are y'all sad I am Rewan? It must be something I'm missing. Why are y'all sad I'm the only reason why I sat at Rewan was when she paid for she been out of goddamn things foolishness. I sat at her about that. But what it what why y'all said I I miss something. <laughs> I miss something. Hello? Don't all y'all speak at damn once? I mean it was a question that won't rhetorical. Like I really would love an answer. Cause I'm I I do no shade, but I missed it. Hold on, we see somebody. Hold on, I got to go up. She flipped on him. Because she wanted to be on the housewives. Rowan trying to get a peach. Rowan didn't do anything. You see, she pulled out. Why is Rowan being sad at? I don't know. I'm con I mean, even with that, I'm confused. I wish he had text saying she would pay. He could sue her. She could. I don't know. I really want to know. Y'all. Because it was a lot of other people that were saying that, too, that they were sad and rewind. I don't know. I missed it. But maybe once we keep going, it'll make sense. <laughs> a lot of people know this ain't it. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Rewan most likely was getting a major percentage, and that's probably why she said don't go too low. She wanted to make sure that she would be able to pay. She might not a goddamn thing would be able to pay. I mean, maybe. But we can keep going. Um, thank you, love, for your cash out, baby. Thank you, April. I appreciate you, baby. Um, anybody else, feel free. Let's continue. I, 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 even with my last minute, even in the industry, I'm still a cheap. Because yeah. my whole thing is I got bills. So I can't I can't go too high and you say no. Bitch, you no, know, you're not gonna tell me no. All right, let's figure this shit out. Yeah. Like, what's your price? Yeah. We'll uh -huh. figure it out. I work with you probably can't get 20, but you can get up. Mind you, this only for eight to six pieces. I'm trying to this whole is that my big bro, Prophet May? Hold up, bitch. I had to stop the whole thing. What's good, bro? Bro, I ain't seen you in damn near in all of 2023. How you doing, bro, bro? I love you to pieces, y'all. Y'all shout out to Prophet May. Y'all know he one of my straight homies or whatever the case may be that I flirt with from time to time. He on my. Uh, shout out to you, friend. Um, and thank you, Boo, for your PayPal. I received it. Thank you so much, love, bug. I love you too, Boo. Thank you. Anyway, let's continue. A collection and fashion. Right, collect a, a real collection is twelve pieces. Right. When you talk fashion, a collection is twelve to twenty-four pieces. Okay. So you start at twelve. So I'm going under that. So that's why I gave her the discount. Okay, for people who are gonna realize why I gave this whole discount, I gave a discount because we was already doing less pieces. All right, cool. You only need eight to six. That's less than. Okay, cool. I do it for five bands. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's your fabric. That's my time. That's your label. That's I got. I got to shut shit down to do your shit. You want your shit right? You want patterns? You want you want specs? You want all this? I got to go on the computer and do specs. I got to go on the computer. I got to do measurements. I got to do all this shit. 
you in seven days, and you want all this shit in seven days, expedite. Let me tell you what I did. It's here somewhere. I called the manufacturer. I said, I, I said, yo, if I wanted to get just a line, not how many pieces I did, because we're gonna get that how many pieces I really did. Now I asked, I said, how much it will cost for me to get a whole color line in seven days, the space, the, the, the samples and all that in seven days. Money ain't an option. How much? That motherfucker told me 80 bands. He said 80 bands and we need it up front. We do not take deposit on rush orders. Yeah. It could go up to 120 depending on your material and stuff that you need. And if we got to pay extra shipping. So 80 bands off rip, it might go into 120. 120,000 to get it in seven days. That's only 12 looks. 12 looks. Listen, 12 looks. 120. Or we'll say, hey, we'll just go low. 80. That was the minimum was 80. He was like, you got to send me 80 to even... Even consider this before you even say your designs, you're gonna run me eighty thousand. And when that bitch clear, then we will miss on doing what you're doing. I said, all right, cool. I just called the manufacturer just to see if, like, if I'm charging, like, if I, am I, am I tripping? Right. All right, cool. So while we sitting there, well, I'm not right here. While we we still talk, we still in the meeting talking about bullshit. I don't know, talking about the price. Row one. Huh? Hold up. I see somebody saying it's a red flag. Who said it? Spice. Hold on. Let me go to Spice. This man went from 30K to 5K because he thought he was building a relationship with long-term benefits. But at the point, but at the point he had to go that low, that's the first red flag. I can agree. I can agree. I can agree with that, Spice. I can. I, I I can agree with that. I can totally agree with you on that. I can. I can agree with that. Free. What her cap is? My cap. That means I ain't walking away less than 1700 yeah. Fuck this hoe. Right. I ain't walking away less than 1700 She got to give me 1700 right. to do this. Yeah. This is not her work. This is just bringing me in. This is what she want for her referral fee is 1700 Gotcha. All uh, right, cool. We, we did not say a price that night. I said, okay, cool. How about this? What's your, what, what can you do? She said, okay, just do me six pieces. I'm going to give you $1,200. I said, I can't do it with 1200 Rowan said, me, like, look, that, she said, that's just a deposit. I said, okay, so you want me to take 1200 for the deposit? For your material, you say, yes, let's get the material. So I got some stuff at home, swing by my house. We could look at other materials, blah, this, father, whatever, and see if we could do the bring the cost lower. In my head, bitch, you ain't going under 5000 I don't give a fuck what we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you need too much shit. And too little, you don't have nothing. Like, you zero. You ain't right. got shit. You don't have shit by strength for 14 years, and you ain't got nothing. All right. This girl ain't have nothing. Uh, All right, cool. Yeah, the logo. She's it's 4 o'clock in the morning. It, look, what time they say? 442. 442. It's 442 in the morning, bitch. I'm tired. Look, bro, send me whatever you're gonna send me. I'm gonna right. go home. I got work to do tomorrow. Everybody know I'm busy. Right. I gotta be up at six. Nigga, it's 442. I last test. Right. You know what I'm saying? I gotta go home. Right. I ain't got time right. to keep playing with you. Like, you don't know how much you want to spend or whatever. Look, I just said, look, just send me 1200 and we'll figure it out. Right. I told you send me 12. That was on February. What that say? Right. February 1st. All right, cool. Rem remember that. All right. Boom. I ain't hear shit no more. Hold up, that's a lie. Let me go back. So on the third, bro, what I was put? I got to get this sensory from the Paramount. I said before they close for the weekend. Can you? I'm begging for the deposit. Send right. me the deposit, the down payment. I got. I need the deposit. I got to get the logos. I got to get your. I said I got to get the embroidery. Right. I need. I need a deposit ASAP. Right. I need it by then. That's on the third at five thirty three p.m. Right. Everybody closed by then. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's on the Thursday. That let me know, like, baby, you ain't still ain't like, paying me. It been fun. <laughs> Appreciate you, big bro, for your cash app. Thank you, big bro. Love you, bro. Ladies, ladies, unfavorite. Great friend, bro. Look. Hey, <laughs> you need it, Thank you. you. Thank you, Prophet. That's on the third. Child. Okay, cool. This say the six. Still no, no. Pro Prophet, how many times I got to tell you, friend, my channel ain't no brothel. 
All right, you always just like the straight niggas. They always want to be cool with the little gay girls because they got all of the all of the girlies, and then y'all want to come around. I see what you're doing. Look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. If y'all want to go around there and screw around with profit, y'all let me know. And I want the details because I want to know. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, <laughs> um, what's the piece? She asked me, Roland well, takes me, how many pieces? Okay, hold on. Let's go. We right here. Hold on. Let's keep it. Okay. This February 6th. Right. Bro, I need, you read it. So I they don't think I'm lying. Call. I need you on the call. What's here? I'm pissed. Okay. Not and then you. what? There is no collection. There ain't no what? It is no collection. No collection at all. We need pieces. We, how many, yeah. we need more pieces. Yes. Uh, what I put? Then, then what she put? I'm paying. This, this is, is BS. Yeah, yeah. And what she said? I'm paying. I'm paying. This is BS. Why your assistant got to pay for your fashion design? Well, she knew. Cause I'm telling you, when I tell you, this whole was. That has been my entire question since this whole thing began. That was my issue with Rowan. I said, why the hell is Rowan paying her tab? That made no sense to me, y'all. Like once I first found that out and I said, I think it was a live that I talked about this song. Maybe it was a live or maybe it was a pre-recorded or something. But I remember going off about that then. I said, well, Rowan, you the dumb bitch for sitting around here paying her damn tab. How the hell you working for her, but you paying her tab? That didn't make no sense to me. I, 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 I said, I said I, you know, fine, whatever. Because maybe they cool and she was just doing her solid. I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Bitch, you pay me, but you can't pay this per hell. I, I, moving on. Having us like crazy. Right. Seeing on the what you call it, she was haggling us. For real. Like, bro, she was really, like, really, really haggling us. Like, dead serious. Right. Haggling us. Like, I'm talking about, like, haggling like a motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? This woman basically got all this stuff for free. Is what you're saying? Yeah. So why wouldn't you take it to court? Thank you. That part. Because you know what? It'll cost me more. Now, get my. I talk to my lord. It'll cost me more. Right. Dude, you ain't got two thousand. We're yeah. gonna, we gonna be in court playing. Yeah. Because you really can't give me. See, friend. I don't know what type of damn lawyer you got because I got a whole bunch of homegirls and homeboys that are lawyers that I know personally because they went to school for the shit. What you mean it ain't nothing that you would have gotten up out of there? Yes, you would have. You would have gotten you would have gotten that shit toe and every damn thing that's in it. Uh, whatever bank accounts that she got, it, it would have been a whole Tasha K. Excuse me. It would have been a whole Toucan Sam and Cardi B situation going on around there had it been me. It's no such thing as you wouldn't have gotten that and had you took it to court. Excuse me. Well, maybe not. Because you ain't had no contract nowhere in the first. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe that's what maybe that's where your man was coming from. Where he was like, you probably wouldn't gain that much. Yeah, you probably wouldn't because you went in there without a damn contract. So maybe that's why you decided not to take it to small claims court because you supposed to be this businessman that worked for this person and that person and so on and so forth. But you came into this without a contract. I don't know. We're we going to move on. If I go and I, if I say, if I got the industry, I'm not the industry standard. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I got you. Not only you ain't reimbursed me, you ain't, I did, I ain't charging my day rate for sitting on set on the day of your fashion show or altering all your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that I separate do, fees. Right now. All that separate fees. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with another. This is one right. thing I got to do with another. Yeah, and the reason why I had to come on your set because again in the in the, in the text was you gonna see I waited three hours for them. We had a we right. set a fitting date. They did not at eight o'clock at night. Three hours late. And I said three hours, nigga. It was I can show you the time. It was like one fifty in the morning. Nobody showed up. They talking about oh, she's still filming. What the fuck? The I don't need her. I need the damn models. So she ain't had no models. Just the day before her fashion show. No model. How the fuck am I supposed to fit something on somebody and ain't no models? So what did you end up doing? How you how you how you how you fit without models? We're gonna get back to that. Let, let's go, let's go, let's 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 trim it back to the beginning real quick. So I asked her, uh, she said, How many pieces she asked you? They only told me eight and two. That's what we agreed on. Eight this on the six. Mind you, we've been talking since the first. 
You feel what I'm saying? Right. Ain't no deposit nothing. So this me begging. Now let's go back to the testament. This me begging for the for the no deposit. deposit. Yeah. All right, cool. Not I still ain't getting on the seats because we still talking about pieces. All right, cool. Let's let's pull up the receipt. What she paid? She finally sent me the deposit, y'all. Hold on. She sent me the deposit. She sent me now. Well, what I told you, the deposit gonna be what twelve hundred, right? That's what we said. Yeah. Well, I said at least fifteen hundred, twelve fifty. That's yeah. the receipt. I said I need to deposit at least fifteen hundred, twelve fifty. Yeah. How much she sent? Four hundred and fifty dollars. How much she sent me? It was a. Uh, well, how was that? How was that sent? Fair. Yeah, four hundred and fifty dollars. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, what I told her in the meeting, we see her talking about the meeting. The meeting in the test message say what? Fifteen hundred twelve feet. You told me four hundred. That was gas money. She was gonna send the rest. How when? Uh, I waited. I waited a week. So this is what some people keep asking, like, why you put your money? I put my money up because I, I I'm the man of my word. If I agree right. to something, if I say, yo, I'm gonna do this for you. Right. I'm going to do it for you. You feel me? If I tell you, okay, I'm going to put my name on it, it's going to be right. If I put my name on it, it's going to be good. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's just me. Did you know it was going to be filmed for TV? Yeah, they told me. The dead of okay. me, and they did tell me it's going to be filmed. So if it's going to be filmed, my name going to be on it. Right. Niggas already secretly don't like me. I'm already a threat because I'm, I'm, nigga, I can make the clothes, style the clothes, and do the shit. I, I done, I done been. I'm, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> Child, y'all know my big bro, honey. He don't really be into the housewives like that. Um, this is a guy named Trey Lanier, Lawan. Trey Lawan. Um, and last season, big bro, he was responsible for the clothes that Sheree was um, modeling. She, cause y'all, cause you know she's supposed to have she by Sheree, right? That's her clothing company. This guy is responsible for the few pieces that was shown last year down to the season finale, Aroa, um, with that little makeshift runway she had. Y'all, y'all know what they call it. Well, apparently, bro, he she ain't paid that damn man. And this man want his damn money. She came up here this season in last week's part one of the reunion showing receipts, talking about how she paid him and she paid this and she paid for that. And then he came out right after that episode and said she a bitch ass lie. That hoe ain't paid for a motherfucking thing. And now this is what he up here talking about now. Now he has all of these receipts about how she didn't pay him and he's still waiting on a cut of his damn money that he ain't got yet. So that's that's the, the cliff note version, bro. <laughs> that's the cliff note version. He want his money. But my issue, my only issue with which we gonna we're gonna get to my issue with Trey after this because we're gonna talk. We'll get to what I what I feel about him after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, still a nice guy. So I like working with stylists. I like right. working with them. And then you know, they be still iffy because I can do your job and my job. Right. So yeah. really, I'm I'm a one man band. Yeah. But I try to not intimidate them. And I'll work with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, so I don't want your client like yeah. do your thing. Yeah. You black. I want to see you grow. Yeah. That's what we do. You know That's what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like it, like it did. What, what what kills me is uh, when you start working with celebrities and all that stuff. People feel like that's the highlight. My regular people pay more than the celebrities, straight up. Yeah, consistently. And because the celebrities, they don't want to, they want to, they don't want to tag right. They want right. to get yeah. to. I mean, I don't have celebrities that give my credit to their friends. Uh, this that came for so came with do nothing to give my credit. I don't say nothing though. As long as you pay me, I'm cool. And they know that about me, bitch. I care about money. You pay me, you can. You can... Um, sir Trey, that's another issue I got with you, friend. I don't give a damn who it is. Yes, the money is great. But you know what's even more great? The exposure. Bitches can pay you all day. That ain't got nothing to do with exposure. No. If I have some high-end, top-end rapper, singer, actor, actress, comedian, whatever, and I'm slaving my titties, okay, over a hot-ass sewing machine, nah. That 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 would be an issue for me. Yeah, I appreciate you for paying me, but also pay me what I'm owed. That's the money, as well as this is a design by giving you the real tea. Yo, shout out to giving you the real tea for the design, you know, for the shirt, for the hat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go look them up. Y'all y'all go do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, that would mean more to me than the money, honestly, because you have a top-notch celebrity shouting out your shit and wearing it on the red carpet. 
I got, I got, I got you, you got, I look, look, Trey, I, look, uh, Trey, again, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a nurse, I, I'm, I, I don't, so what do I know, okay, that's just how I feel, that's how I see it, that's the way I would have looked at it, but cool, we're gonna move on. Hey, Jesus made your goddamn outfit. I don't give a fuck. Give me my money. Because they do do that now. They'll they they say style by somebody, but yeah, that's the whole person that made it. Exactly. Yeah, they want to like, give you credit. Come on, get the credit. Wait. And that's cool. And that's cool. But they always do. I always got to fight super hard to get my shit, which is cool. I ain't got no problem. Okay. But you're not going to play with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you're not going to play me in my face. And then you're not going to congratulate. You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to play. I'm tired of them like a deal. When they have workers, they have people coming in here, makeup, uh, fat, like, you know, styling cameraman anything it's like we make y'all look good but then we don't last to get paid but you won't walk your ass on bravo set unless you got your check you right. feel me so now bro you you demand your money from bravo they got to pay you and you ain't gonna move till you get your money because you gotta pay for that motherfucking chateau bitch i got a condo that i gotta pay for too that's to like my chateau and i need to pay that motherfucker and you hired me so you gotta pay me so same way you feel about bravo you got i gotta feel like that way about you right. so you start playing my money what i'm supposed to do Right. You feel me? You done got the work. Now you don't want to pay me. And they do that to a lot of up and coming, uh, well, a lot of just, I guess they call them the help. Yeah. And they don't want to, they, 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 that's why people get so turned off because they got their favorites. Right. You know what I'm saying? That they won't play with because they work with other people. They know they're going to voice their opinion. That's so true. now this is why I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I get on TV. I mean, I start doing my shit like this. Then they're going to look not to play with me because he's going to say something. He's going to try me because you ain't going to try me no more. Anybody else is going to try me. Straight up, you get what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so back to this rack. Mm, back up. So, <laughs> I'll try to she by Sheree. Thank you for your cash app, friend. Thank you so much, baby. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you, boo. Anybody else like to donate, feel free. It's open. Let's get back to this. Shit by Sheree. So, we trying to get it. All right, cool. Boom. All right, so let so all the way down. I told her how many pieces she needed, blah, this, call this, and that. She crying. This, now, this your friend saying she pissed off. You know what I'm saying? It's no collection. We really need you. What you gonna do? Uh -huh. Now y'all putting more work on me. All right, cool. What? Let me let me show you this. One. All right, they putting more work on me. What I said? Okay, I ain't even say no. I ain't even turn it down. I ain't talking about no money. I ain't whatever. Cause now I'm in my head like, fuck. We gotta get this shit done. And what I said? I got a point. I said. Go ahead and tell them. Say, I had to take all my orders and appointments today because Monday through Thursday, I have to shut down and do charade stuff. So I made them come today to do it. It would be later. We we move in into my new shop. So I would call you about 9 30, 40, 9 9 30, 9 45. Yeah. Right. All right. So cool. So not only am I moving to my new shop, I got to I gotta speed up all my other orders yeah, so I can focus on, on hustle. Now, mind you, what I said, Monday through Thursday, that's four days. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's four days. I got Monday through Thursday to do all her shit that she need. Now, she just hit me with, I need a whole clothing line. So now, and you finna be on national TV. That means I work by myself. I right. ain't got no team. Bitch, I am the team. One man team. But I'm fast, though, and I know what I'm doing. Right. So my whole thing is, I got Monday through Thursday to do you 40 pieces. These people ask me for 40 pieces. Now, let's do the math. If I was finna charge you 5000 5000 for eight pieces. That was a discount. Right. For eight pieces. Well, I say ten pieces because her two is included. I'll probably do her two. For ten pieces, I'm gonna charge you five thousand. How much you think I'm gonna charge you for forty thousand? Forty two. I mean forty two. Original price. Forty two hundred. Original price. I mean, I mean forty two pieces. Forty two pieces. You talking about in four days? Yeah, man. That's wild. Like that's crazy. That's wild. For you to even ask somebody that and then not even put in your head that I got to give this boy 10000 at least, at least. Or don't lie on him, at least. You know? Or give me my props. Yeah. Or I would have, you know, I would even tell you if she would have walked in to me like, listen, I ain't got no money. Right. I need a show. I need this. I need that. But. I can pay you on the back end. I can, can I pay? Can we just do a payment plan? Yeah. I don't have it. I would have respected you so much more straight up coming to me like, baby, I don't got it. But I really need to fashion because I don't want to look dumb on TV. Instead, you motherfucking played me. Not only you played me, you had me come on set so we ain't do the fitting. You had me come on set. I did the shit on set for you. 
Oh, you told the producer, and the producer text me. You told the producer, don't put me on. Don't show me why I'm running around. I, my, get it, first of all, I put all the models in every outfit. I saw. I, did, I did see you for a brief clip, though. They yeah. caught you. Uh, they showed my hands. Your hands. <laughs> That's all. They showed my hands. Yeah. You feel me? They and did. I was like, damn, I was there for eight hours. And bitch, and all y'all showed was my hands. hands. Yeah, y'all had this motherfucking camera in my face told, the whole time. Yeah, she, the producer told me, oh, Sheree told her, we don't want you, you know, not to put you too much in. It's not really about you or the designer. So she, she don't want to want cloud she, on the page? I, from what I heard, and I ain't, I ain't got no um, receipts on this, but when I heard, she said, but she got this shit from the manufacturer from Australia or some bullshit like that. That's what they said. So you didn't even give me my cloud. Oh, she was you even give me some, right, like she got that shit right. from overseas or something. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Then they try to play me too. Okay, so come on, let's go. So I sat there and I fitted everybody the day up. I had a flight. This is my birthday week. And you're gonna see that in the text uh -huh. message too. I changed my flight. This still coming out my money. I changed my flight to later on that day. Because uh -huh. I knew I had to fit them. I got to the place. Now, what she said, I'm going to show you what she told me coming at 1 o'clock. So, let's say, see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Now, okay, before see me at 1 o'clock, when I try to do the fitting, what did I say? Like, dude, we ain't even going to read it all. Yeah. How long I waited? I've been yeah, sitting here for three, three hours. hours. I sat there for three hours waiting on this girl to show up because this is Will's doing the fitting. Three hours late, Sheree. I sat at front of the boutique for three hours. What did I say? For fitting alterations today. And one of what? A final payment. Yeah. So the 450, is that all you've been paid at this point? At this point, before anything, all I got was $450. Mind you, hold on. Let, let me, let's, let's pull this up. Well, this right here, we're going to get to that. Well, hold on. Let's just read it real quick. We, we skipping along real quick. Now, just, what did I say? Well, I spent. It says, I, that's what I spent. Right. I, okay. I spend money on fabric, same day logos, same day embroidery charge, set up fees for DTL, DTS files. That's for the embroidery. Yep. I had to redo her whole logo. She did not have a working logo. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, oh, the, the right, the, I had to get somebody to redo right. her whole entire oh, logo. Yeah. Like, I wow. really built your whole company from ground up. In the week. Right. But mm -hmm. then not only did she want clothes, bro, I made bags. I had to go get, she wanted leather. No, I don't want fake leather because I'm charade. So I went to the Pearl Mart, which the Pearl Mart you could get like you know clothes, you get real leather and all that stuff for a discounted price. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all, I got a business. I've been going to them since 2008. So you could go there, and you could buy the shit wholesale for maybe you could get like a five hundred dollar bag for like maybe eight dollars. You know right. what I'm saying? So I got her three cross bags, duffel bags, all so she could walk down the road with. If you look at the show, they walking down the road with the cross bags and all that. They say she was straight and bought it on it. That's what they wanted. On, 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 all everybody wanted that, but they couldn't get it because I ain't get it. I I ain't give her nothing. Yeah, Straight up, because you ain't pay for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I paid for the bag, the DTS file, the logos. I paid for all that out of my pocket. Mind you, just for the DTS file, I paid 575 on the phone with the girl at 2 o'clock in the morning. Whoa. Something that really only cost like $100. I paid 575 on the phone with her just so the girl at 3 o'clock in the morning because she falls asleep so she could do the file. So I got to sit there to the lady by 6 o'clock in the morning to beat her up by Thursday where this bitch ain't even show up and had me waiting for three hours. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go straight into the film. We don't know if nothing can fit. Ain't shit completed. We don't know nothing. But who that's going to fall on? Ain't going to fall on. Who she going to blame? My designer ain't finished everything. So what I had to do? I had to go home. We don't even got no models. So I'm guesstimating what size models is and what size I'm going to make this shit. I don't even know what to do because I'm like, damn. We ain't got no models. I, we ain't do no fitting. We ain't do no alterations. We ain't seen nobody. So you were prepared to do all of that on the spot? I had spot. everything on, and on this day, as you see, when I told you I'm waiting. And what I said, tomorrow is my birthday. Whoa. So the day of they did the fashion show was your birthday? The day they did the fashion show was on my birthday. I said, tomorrow is my birthday. Mm -hmm. I have plans. I have a flight to catch. I'm telling you, Nola. Nola, no Tino shade, but that's where I'm at with it. Like, cause I, this is my first time listening to the whole thing, y'all. And I made it a point to not listen to it beforehand. I wanted to listen to it with y'all. So in case anything major came up or whatever, we could all have the same reaction. But, you know, I, we, I'm, I'm a little continue. <laughs> I can't do this tomorrow. I'm going to have to change my flight. Right. You get what I'm saying? So me, I had a 12 o'clock flight. I changed my flight. The last flight in Atlanta is at 8 o'clock. 
It was like eight twenty something like that. Wow. You, all my bags when I got to the to the fashion, all my shit's in the trunk because I got to get on my flight. Period. You get what I'm saying? All right, cool. She put all she texts me after I wrote all that. Oh my god, the address will say see you tomorrow at one. Wow. No, no, sorry. Yeah, no, oh damn, my bad. No, we do alterations. I don't know if everybody can fit in that. She not gonna look crazy. I'm gonna look crazy. We all gonna look crazy. Yeah. At this point, it's a team effort. But this is your field. And but playing. exactly, this is my field. Now I go like, I don't know what I'm doing. Now you're going to hurt my business. Because everybody that's on that TV is going to see this shit. You're going to hurt my business. Fact. They're going to think you don't know what you're doing. They're going to think you like, how you been in the business 18 years and you can't do a simple fashion show? Yeah. Now, no, I had three days, no models, no name. I, I'm working with fucking scraps. No money. I'm working with L. Yeah. I'm working with L. If I ain't go, if I have enough money, if I want a nigga that can hustle, if I have enough money to, to put into it, I'll put all of it into your business. I'll put twenty four hundred dollars in your shit. Actually, more than right. that. I'm just saying twenty four hundred. Right. I ain't even do the calculations because I seen my account go down by four thousand. I just let the shit go. Look, just give me. You know what I'm saying? I was irritated because you had to pay for. I had to pay for everything. Aggravated and irritated. Aggravated as fuck. You feel me? Okay, cool. Boom, so the day of the show, okay, back to the day of the show. Okay, the day of the show, boom, we get, you know, we get there, do everything. Right. All I was going to do is drop the shit. I was so pissed off, I'm going to drop the shit off for the leave. Right. Well, one assistant came to me was like, yo, they want you to dress the mannequins. I said, dress the mannequins in what? Take three of the outfits and put them on the mannequins. All right, cool. Went in there, boom, dress the mannequin. Mind you, still ain't paid. Right. We ain't even talk about price. I just showed you right here that we're supposed to meet up to talk about final payment. You see it right there. Let's talk about the final payment. We ain't even talk about how much I'm charging. Right. In my head, hold oh, you 25. Right. I need 25 bands off real. Right. Because I'm irritated now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all playing with me. Okay, cool. I done did you 42 pieces. 42 from 8 to 6? It went from 8 to 6 to 10. You know, it went from 6 to 18 six, to 42. Cause you ain't have, as you see, I'm pissed. Ain't no collection right. at all. Few pieces came through from out of town, whatever that she wanted to add it to the show, whatever. Cool. I was supposed to make her two outfits. That's the only thing I didn't finish. Her long, she was supposed to get this long trench coat. So where? I fin okay. you know, I, I finished it, but it was supposed to be printing on it. It was supposed to say spring, summer, some shit like you know, yeah, look, it was supposed to be like, like a little quote, a little funny quote, whatever. That everybody, spring, summer, summer, spring, whatever the fuck that raggedy ass said. Right. So they were supposed to say that. <laughs> All right, cool. And, and so we didn't get to that part, the printing part. Right. And then I did like this little sweater thing, whatever, with shoulder pads. She ain't like the shoulder pads. I'm going to take them out. I was irritated. I ain't take this shit out. Bitch, don't even wear it. Wear one of your little tights outfits. I was over it at that point. Right. I ain't want to fix shit. I ain't care. No if they don't fit, whatever. I was mad because it's my birthday week. I done spent my birthday money. Nigga, I I'm, I, I got a reservation in Miami, STK. I done spent 30000 I mean, I done spent 3000 on that. Nigga, I got boats and shit waiting on me. I'm, I'm about to miss my shit because of you. You ain't getting my money. And I'm going to lose that money. Lost Oh you crazy. Nah. All right, cool. So get to the thing. Now, mind you, she has a couple shit. She had a couple things come from a manufacturer, wherever it came from, AliExpress. I don't know where the fuck it came from. Right. I don't know. I ain't even gonna speak on that. I ain't gonna talk about no people's shit. Right. But nothing ain't fit. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause I sit right there and I had to alter all that shit to this whole body, to all the models' body. The day of, you get what I'm saying? All right. I'm looking. At, this lady walked in and like I ain't fucking exist. That whole walk past me like I ain't even exist. No, thank you. Okay. Bitch, you think I'm finna sit over here and spend all of my goddamn birthday on your trash ass shit and I can't even get a, 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 a two to a, 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 a one to two minute cameo? These people can't even show my damn face fitting your models or even fitting you. You couldn't even do that for me, but you sitting over here want to spend all of your birthday money and spend all of this. Trey. Trey. Like, <laughs> like Trey oh, so real. I planned on coming up here and just giving all of it to she by no such thing. But yeah, I might have to get you together too, friend. No tea, no shade. But we'll see when this is over. <laughs> you know nothing or whatever ran to the one we had them i was trying to close walk up and down she said that like she doing something oh these clothes look amazing oh they look so good still ain't, ain't acknowledged me at all to producer say okay we're gonna have you and sheree talk she declined i don't want to talk to him in my head i'm like what the fuck i did to you 
I just made you look good. You got a whole fashion show. So I told her one. I say, bro, why she got an attitude? She was like, oh, I don't know. Da, da, da. You know, and she just got a lot going on. She running around with her. I say, no, that was trying to avoid me because she knows she. I'm about to ask for my payment because I know you told her. Yeah, he want to find out the payment. And then when I talk, I say, well, so what, what about payment? The day up, I like, I'm finna go straight up. I got finished all. I was ready. I say, y'all finna go. I'm not staying. So like, you're not staying for the show. And I gotta catch a flight. I kept telling y'all that y'all disrespected me. And I like, I ain't right. say I gotta catch a flight. All right, I say. So she's like, oh, okay, we'll take care. She said, well, I make sure you get take care of in the morning. I said, we don't even know the price. We ain't talking about the price. Take care of what? She like, we'll talk about, we'll call, we'll have a meeting in the morning. All right, cool. I left, joined my flight, boom, cool. All right, right? Boom. Get to Miami. Now, this one the bullshit. This one the bullshit happened. Get to Miami. All right. Now, the night of the, the, the night after the show. Okay, no, this ain't even the night of the show. This three days later, right? All right. I ain't gonna leave shit out because I want the bitch coming back acting like, oh, I did such and such and such and such, such, such. All right, so this is the wrong response. Uh, like, now, if you if you look at it, these right here is with me, Sheree, and her. That's like the group message. This right here was on the side of the wrong response. She's put, hey, boo, I, I have my husband seen it. It's my apology because I've been, I'm like, bro, I cussed her ass out on one of these papers. I'll show you. I cussed her ass out like, so who's her husband? Her husband got some money, you know what I'm saying? He like an Arab dude, oh, like so not Sharae. This is Rowan, yeah. Okay. He said, "I didn't hear back." What she said, "I didn't hear back from Sharae yesterday, but I will not do you like that, as I promise, right? Because I told, I said, you gonna have to promise me that you are gonna make sure you pay me if this bitch don't pay me straight up, okay. like that's just being straight real. Because she was already acting like she didn't want to pay me. Now if I do this okay. for you to make you look good, because see, Rowan want to be on real housewife. That's her whole goal. So she's trying to be Sheree's friend and be friend of the show and then think she could get a peach and get on her. You get what I'm saying? So that's her whole plan. So whatever it takes, she ready to break bread right. just to get on it, just to secure her spot. Right. But she need an ally. Sheree, her ally. So she's trying to hold out, you know, because she's still trying to be Sheree's yeah. friend, whatever. But that shit ain't going to work like that. Okay, cool. Now, this is what she played me. And I just told you over here, it said 42 pieces, 40, 40 pieces. You know what I'm talking about? From 26 pieces. Mind you, I fitted everything at the fashion show. I put all the models in oh, all know. the outfits. I know what the fuck was used. She gonna tell me from 26 looks, we use at least 10 pieces from the one way. So thank you for all your hard work. I will not leave you hanging and you and you know that. Also, you show up the day of the event to adjust all pieces if needed. Um I said, I'm in a five hour meeting. How the fuck you know in a, you in a five hour meeting? Yeah, oh, you got a boutique. Text, what goddamn five hour meeting? Text the money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> I'm in a five hour meeting. So that so so that way I will see, so I can see what's going on, whatever. I have, I'll ask my husband to zell you. And, um, zell you it needs, to, it needs to come out of my business account for my records. Mind you, right now, we still ain't talking about price. So what you going to zell me? Right. And what you say? What's this on my birthday? What this all say? Wishing you a beautiful birthday and blessing continue to shine on you. Like, but you don't want to pay me my money. What you mean? Like, so now I'm taking it. Like, I'm reading this. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? We ain't talking about price. You took away twenty looks. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You try to thank me for my hard work. And like it's like you like cut me and then cutting me and then trying to like uh and then now now you don't got the money now your husband got a zip now everybody husband and aunties and grandmas got a zip everybody you involved. know what I'm saying now nobody got no money when everybody went broke you feel me uh wrong so help went broke friends she been broke she been broke she been not having nothing friend and see that's why it's so hard for me to really be on your side 100 all the way because everybody who is somebody and ain't somebody that lives in atlanta already knows she been not a goddamn thing ain't got no money she don't like to pay her bills she don't like to pay her debts everybody around there knows that friend Everybody. So I, I I don't know why you so shocked that you got to get your money from other hoes versus the hoe that you need to get it from. Because everybody already knew that, friend. Everybody already knew. You could have went to the contractor. She still owe contractors for the shit told that she living in, friend. Like, it's been too many shining examples of people who done tried to work for her and got burnt. So you will get back. Go, now, 
Okay, so bomb. Hey, good day. Hope all well. We would like to please him. Uh, this is me telling like this. Not this right here is you before this. Hey, good day. Hope all is well. We would like to complete the invoice today. Replace all the money I spent to complete some of the orders. Uh, thank you, Zell. Me, uh, Zell payment is fine. That's me telling them. This row one. Hey, thank you so much coming out yesterday and helping us finalize the pieces. I'll make sure that Sheree handles the payment. Thank you again for your patience. We appreciate you. This was the day right. This right here was the day after, right? Okay. Well, hey guys, thanks for everything. This is Sheree, y'all. Hey guys, thanks for everything. I will take care of the balance, even though the pieces were not usable. The quality wasn't great, and some were uh, was not complete, like the new jacket. Granted, I'll. I didn't make a new jacket. Bitch, y'all ran out of time. Right. It just naturally just ran out of time. Now, out of, no out of 42 pieces with no fittings, I ain't do you a new jacket. And you're going to talk about not usable, not complete, because the new jacket was finished. Only thing was off on the new jacket is I ain't put the collar, the, the, the string inside the collar. Now, it's not usable. Throw that shit on the goddamn but runway. If it wasn't usable, how, did the, how was it successful to fashion? That's what I'm saying. So yeah. what you use? So the okay, the new jacket is the new jacket wasn't completed. So now I said, okay, now this whole wanna play with me. Okay, cool. Say, are you planning on doing the new jacket? Now mind you, she said P6. Now saying in the same sense, are you planning on doing the new jacket? And can you possibly fix the things that need to be fixed? She was talking about the new jacket only. Because the new jacket is the only thing that was messed up. Out of 42 pieces in four days, that was the only thing that she could pinpoint. So, okay, in my head, like, okay, this bitch want to try to pull. Now you're trying to, like, play, like, oh, okay, everything went done, right? Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Now this now this is uh Rowan. No problem, Sheree. Going off this. Like, you know, we'll do the new jacket. No, I trust that Tyree will adjust what is needed. She was talking about the new jacket. Right. I can't sell the remaining... Um, which is two thousand dollars today. If you reimburse, if you reimburse me kindly, kindly advise on how to continue. But what that's all? I, that's how much I spent. She asked me how much I spent. I spent two thousand. So she was like, "I'm saying the two thousand day. I'm not sending the rest. I'm gonna send two thousand for reimbursement yeah. because that's what they owe me, right?" I said, yes, being that I say, uh, I say, yes, being that we have more than days to actually do the work, I fix it, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Now, here, go, here she go, wait, how did we get to a remaining balance at 2K? Send me the invoice so I can see the detailed pieces and we can remove what was not, I say, what we did not discuss, what we did not discuss, then talking about fixing the things, what we discussed, we didn't discuss shit because you ain't had no clothing line. I made all this on my own. Right. We ain't discuss shit. So what you mean? So now you talking about remove was not discussed. So now she's saying, Oh, I'm not paying for what I ain't asked you to make. You ain't have no clothing line. I made all that. You ain't asked me to make shit. I made all of it because you ain't have nothing. Rewind to the uh, upon herself and say, We need 40 pieces. I made you 40 pieces. You use 40 pieces. Hold run me my money. Straight yes. up. Yes. Yes. Now, mind you, this whole what she's read the read the read the last line for me, please. And say I'm gonna take a quick nap. While I wait. What you waiting for? <laughs> what you waiting for? What we waiting for? The job was done at this point. The job was done. Yeah. So she said, after no. this, she blocked. Yeah. I was blocked on social media. I was blocked on phone. Mind you, I ain't cuss out or nothing. Everything is all nice, right? All right, cool. This is when it got, it started getting ugly. All right. I said, the fact that I stopped everything and dedicated my time and energy and money for your project and delivered less than a week, even if you felt it wasn't perfect, I literally did over 40 pieces in less than seven days. Now, get annoyed and disregarded. So, I told you she blocked me. So, you see the text message that I sent her. Now, getting annoyed and disregarded when all I asked for was I, uh, what I put in. My reimbursement, not even my labor of time. We didn't even talk. We didn't even get there. Started even talking about how much you owe me for my labor, my time, it's my energy. Like it wasn't none of that. Something she was planning on doing. No, she wasn't planning. Now, what should I say? I spent my birthday money, which is today, two fourteen on. I said on this because Rewan assured me I wouldn't get played. But here we are. I am not about to beg or run no money with nobody down about my money. Please, none of you contact me for help or nothing ever again because I hate, hate, hate ungrateful people and, and being played. I was yeah. honest and I did what, what was asked and could do in the time that I had to make this work. Some things just did, wasn't going to get done, didn't have the time period. This was a last minute project and should have been understood as such. 
I was told you had nothing, and I felt bad and did what I could in the time frame. Hold up, what the rest of it? Gotcha. Yeah, man, this is hard. In that time frame, it's a the two thousand. Now there's a little part missing, but the two thousand dollars that I spent was on fabric, same day logo, same day embroidery charge, some set up fees for DTS files, all the bags. This is only reimbursement. Didn't even, didn't even ask you for my labor charge. I knew it would be rushed and it wouldn't be perfect with some so many pieces and with so little time. So I didn't charge. I didn't t charge for labor. I was just focused on mostly on focus on completing the project in four days, and I will get all that. He said, I'll get all that back. I'll get all the breakdowns sent over to you so I can get my labor charge yeah. and I'll get the uh, what you call all I told you the two thousand was for the reimbursement for what I spent. We we were supposed to sit down as an adult and go over everything yeah. I did, yeah. go over everything what happened, go over everything you spent, all your running around, all that, and then put all that into what you call it. You know what I'm saying? But she had only sent four fifty, so she only sent four hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Well one and then you look at this day, let's go uh, I'm gonna just pull this last thing up. Okay, this man wrote this man wrote one going back and forth. I, this on the my birthday on the fourteenth. This show you today two fourteen. That's when I was texting her this. Still ain't getting no money. This February twenty. Uh, this February eighteenth. I sent my Zell again. Thanks. Can you please let me know when you send it? I said I already know she. I already know. What, read that part right there. For I already me. know. She said I already know she wasn't going to pay me or have the issue. The fact that she didn't even take consideration how much time, effort, and energy I put into the last four days, at least making this happen in no time on top of having lost money, spent money on not getting reimbursed, all of that. Right. Uh, now you're reimbursed, not getting paid for my work. Yeah. I say a little amount of time that I had to work. I say I hate, uh, I, say, I do not like ungrateful people who use people. I say I'm mad as hell. I don't, I say I didn't listen to, I say I'm mad as hell. I didn't listen to my sources because there was three or four people that told me yeah, don't fuck with me. They said, bro, around, do I not do that for her. You tripping. So what made you do it? I did because of Rowan. Because okay. I was cool with her. We work. Yeah, you. she, you know, I, we, we, she vouched for her. Gotcha. I know Rowan got a couple dollars. So if she don't pay me, Rowan said, if she don't pay you, I'm going to pay you. Not only reimburse me. So I'm like, but well, we ain't even talk about the price yet. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Rowan straight up said, oh, I'm only going to give you the reimbursement. I'm not paying nothing else. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then you get on national TV talking about, oh, I paid in full. You pay what in full? Yeah. The reimbursement because from a quarter to Rwanda, you it took you six months to get two thousand. You feel me? Yeah, man, this is crazy. That's crazy. Too crazy. And this is the it's fact. So it's and like, I got all my receipts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even going right. back and forth with Rwanda, she was telling me that's on the 18th. She told me she paid. Look, we we I'm arguing with her. Tell my baby I paid you already. No, you did. I ain't sent like I'm cussing her out. You ain't send me shit when I'm supposed to spend my money. This on the 21st. Right. My birthday was on the 14th. That means whatever money I had to spend, I had to spend out my pocket. So that relationship is it's probably dead. dead, too. Yeah, man. It's, and probably. I'm going to tell you, but okay, it wasn't dead. It was dead when it got on Neighborhood Talk. And that's the, that's the receipt that Sheree showed on national TV. Right. When it got on Neighborhood Talk, and Sheree ain't say nothing. Right. Well, Ron responded, and I feel like you took her side. Right. Pussy, I saw you took her side. Stay over there. Mm -hmm. Don't come over. Don't come back over here. Yeah. We we good. I'm straight because you yeah. took you took her side. You can't take somebody's side. And I told and I text her. You should have stayed the fuck out of shut the fuck up. Because now I'm gonna throw you in the bus when you was calling her cheap. When you were saying she ain't had no money, Same. when you was get upcharged again, right? Like, you like up. You definitely said upcharge you because I'm I'm walking. My cap is seventeen hundred. Yeah, my cap is seventeen hundred. Straight up. She, so she let you know, I don't give a fuck what this whole do. So you say 20% of 17, you already in the pocket. For you to get 1700, that means you at least 10, 12, 20, because she know what I usually charge. Yeah. But you played with me. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. And that's sad, man. Sad. You doing it's black people sad. like that. That's, that's why we can't get ahead. From the puss ass hoe. I know, girl, that ain't nothing but some Fl Floridian, Miami and shit. Puss ass hoe. I know. I rock with it, though. No, nah, you can't because they're trying to get over on you, but it's cool. Though. Like I told Sheree, and they, oh, let me tell you another thing. They did right before we end, y'all. Okay, so 
they she called me and saying, okay, go on with on without candy ass. Candy said, why ain't none of the designs on your website? The reason why none of the designs on your website is because they called me and asked me, said, can you give me any of the specs, any of the uh the uh the patterns, whatever, so Sheree can put the stuff on her website, she'll pay you for it. I said, I hope you go to hell. I said, I'm just be uh, burning on fire. I wouldn't spit on that bitch. She Ooh. can't get shit from me. Straight up. You ain't wrong. Oh, God, she can't. Not at this I ain't point. getting her shit. Yeah, man, she can't get nothing. Much. I meant that she can't get nothing from me, bro. Like, nothing at all, because it's the fact that, like, you really play with me. Yeah. Like, and then my whole thing is when you do something good for somebody, and the only reason why I did it because you was embarrassed over the last 14 years, you've been embarrassed over that stupid ass house and your dumb ass and your dumb ass clothing line. Because right. that shit ass, that your, your, your website never dropped. Yeah. And when that shit dropped, right. it, it, it broke down the first day. Summer, spring, fall. You know what I'm saying? Summer, spring, fall, they never got there to come out. You feel me? And then you you um you got embarrassed from the white, not a fashion with no fashions. You did another fashion show, little thing. You ain't had nothing. So I was like, damn, let me help her and make her look good. I was just trying to make you look good. That's what you do. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't even want no recognition. You could have told you could have told the world whatever you wanted. That shit came from Baba Lou for I don't give a fuck. Baby, just run me my money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even so right. Man. But because you did it like that, just how the cookie crumble and the whole lot. And you go and you said on for, on what you got with your receipts, I got my receipts too. Stop playing with me, and bro. It's facts. It's facts. So stop, stop with the cap. We gotta stop doing that. It's so it's almost a new year. No, you gonna keep popping your shit. It won't be no home. shit by Sheree. Nah. Don't don't look for it, especially with none of my design, because you do. Y'all I, I will I will go broke the suit is up. <laughs> No one she ain't got no goddamn money, but she ain't gonna put none of you ain't gonna put none of my designs on your website. Yeah. You should better stay with AliExpress. Or pay that man his money and I don't want the money. Fuck that. I don't want the money. Yeah, Bitch, you keep your up. money. You I don't up. want your money. I don't want the, I don't need they, your money. People I'm, still want the fashion. So. Uh, they want the fashions. I don't want your money. So they can hit up Tyree no if you yeah, want some of those I, custom pieces. I do shit by Sheree. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call. You come to me, it's gonna be asking me enough. That's gonna mean shit by Sheree, because that's what I'm gonna give you. Shit by Sheree. No, but they could definitely hit you up if they want some of Yeah, but if you want fashions. custom, you can hit me up. I do custom. Yeah. Listen, I I I saw a clothing line, you got a clothing line you need. Yeah. I got you. This is what I do. Still, but, you still doing the sewing classes? Um, I got the sewing classes drop. I do sewing classes. Yeah. I can help you start your business. I done, I got three multi-million dollar business up under my belt. You know what I'm saying? And I done help start, create it. Uh, I know everything about fashion. You know, I went to everything. school for this. And that's what they understand. They think I'm a little nigga from around the corner who don't really know this. I know this. And then when they, when you go back and tell them, nigga, I work with Bernard Cavalli. I work with Gucci. I work with Finn. Like, I work with these people on their Man. showroom inside, like, in New York. Pulling out designs, I submitted designs to these people. They have used my design. I'm not no little nigga, but see, your page you, used to work for them too, right? The you and you don't pop your exactly. Yeah. You don't because I don't pop my shit. And people don't really know, and I don't brag on it. I don't got my resume flying around. They just think you just a regular Instagram nigga. Yeah, I didn't chilling. build my business on Instagram. I was the nigga before Instagram. I had post those before Instagram. What you mean? Like I don't need Instagram. Okay. I don't got to post shit on Instagram and still make money. My business ain't on Instagram. He started the Bedazzle Shoes, if you ain't even know that. Where do you think Lupitan got that from? That's, yeah. and, that, and, that's, and that's recording. That's yeah. dead ass recording. That was back in the day. Nigga, I got a whole book in Barnes & Nobles that Sergio, what you call here, a uh, big time book. Which got, I got a book in uh, uh, all about me in, in Barnes & Nobles. I don't even post that stuff like that. Uh, you get what I'm saying? That was on best bestseller list. I can show you emails through Louboutin, sending them designs. A lot of them diamond shoes on stuff, mine. I said, what do you think of um, um, all them spike shoes on came from? Go do the research. I was doing that in 2003. I submitted that design to them when I was in school. Like, come on, stop playing with me, for real. This is facts. Factual. Facts being dropped here, man. Well, and I got receipts, so anybody want to challenge me, baby, yeah. ain't nothing to put receipts up. Where they find you at? Because I know you're going to get some buzz, and they want to know. They want to probably verify some of this, so. On Instagram, born billionaire. Yeah, just uh, I'm at born billionaire. Born all billionaire. my all my stuff is in my bio. My name. All right, y'all. Um, that's the whole. <laughs> that's a uh... child. That was a whole hour of some mess, honey. Is what it was. Thank you, boo, for your cash app. It is greatly appreciated. One, one, one. Thank you so much, baby. Anybody else that would like to donate, the PayPal and Cash App handles is right here on the screen. Please consider if you would like to. Now, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. Um, I 
Let me do. Let me get Trey out the way first. Trey, I believe every word of what you said happened to you. And I believe every word of what you say about the people that you work for, the people that you did this for, the people that you did this with, the people that you did that with. I believe every single solitary last word of it. All right. But see, because I believe it, that's what bothers me about you. All right. Now, we're going to get on she about not a goddamn thing. But I want I want to spend a few minutes on you because. You say you got multi, three multi-million dollar business. Maybe you do. Again, I don't know. I, I, I don't know nothing about you. So I'm not going to sit over here and say what you got and what you don't got. But for me, I just feel like you have all of this business sense. You have all of these business critiques and you don't work with the best of the best and so on and so forth. So with that being the case, how could you ever get played by a raggedy, low rung ass hoe like she by not a goddamn thing? How? How do you get took by a panhandling bitch that still can't pay all of her bills? I'm trying to figure it out, friend. You got all of this business sense and you have all of these businesses and you got all of these boss moves that I believe you doing. But with that being the case, how did you get up in this shit? And a lot of people keep saying Rwan. Fuck Rwan. And the reason why I'm saying fuck Rwan is at the end of the day, fuck Rwan. If I'm a business person and I'm handling my business the right way, Fuck Rwan. My business isn't with Rwan. My business is with she, Sheree Whitfield. And I'm going to have all of my stuff in order. And if Sheree can't come down and, and comply with all of the stuff that I normally do to make the stuff do what it's supposed to do, then she just wouldn't have had it. Forget the exposure. Forget being on Rare Housewives of Atlanta. Forget all of that. Because at the end of the day, it's my name and my likeness. That's going to be brought up in all of this food. You understand? Fuck Rwan. If he, if he is who he say he is, then I'm going to be expected for him to have all of his ducks in a row. I would have had contracts out the ass. There would have been deadlines. There would have been this. There would have been that. Like, I would have had all my ducks in a row. And, and, and then another reason why I got an issue, Trey, is because you got up here and said that everybody in your camp, well, to let you tell it, a few people in your camp, I, I think everybody, but you said a few people in your camp set up and told you she don't pay her bills. Do not get food up with this damn woman. But then you came up here and said, well, she's on the show. I wanted to do it to get some exposure. Well, you was on a show and the only thing that got exposed was your ashy ass hands. <laughs> okay. Now, unless people can look at your hands and be like, is that Trey Lawan's hands? That I don't necessarily th like. So you got, so you got dick out of your money from Sheree and you got dick out of your exposure. Other than your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, who is calling me, girl? Telemarketing. Get off of me, child. See, that's why I'm broken, penniless now, girl. Because I, I, I owe folk too. Why well, owe folk? I'm um paying my debts off too. I don't know. Okay, because it looks like it won't charge, and and ain't nobody got no time for that. Anyway, like that's another thing. Friend, if you got more than one or two people in your camp telling you don't trust her, then I'm not understanding why you trusted her from the very beginning. It just didn't make sense to me, friend. No, no shade to you, but it just don't make sense to me. So you came in this thing without a contract in the first. You came in this thing already knowing what could happen to you because you had so many people doing it. Now you up here saying that you don't want the money. So then what the hell do you want? Listen, if you wanted to expose she by not a goddamn thing, I mean, you did. But at the end of the day, what does that really matter? Because she done got exposed by Sheen, Amazon, Walmart, <laughs> Candy Pants, and so many other people like through the years that, you know, I, I you know.
And I don't want to get Trey too much because, like I say, I don't really know nothing about him. But it's just like, friend, I'm expecting you to be a whole lot more smarter than what the hell you being. Thank you, boo, for your cash app, love. I appreciate you. A little lunch money. <laughs> well, I go to work today. But I appreciate your lunch money, friend. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much, Puddin. Um, any little bit helps, you guys. Anybody else would like to donate? Feel free. Thank you so much, boo. Um, do I got anything else I want to give to Trey? Because I got a little light life for Trey. It ain't a lot for him. Um, you didn't have no contract. I told you about that. The people tried to get you together to work with her from the beginning. I got you together about that. You should have been a lot smarter when it came down to your business. I think I got you together about that. If I didn't, I think I did. I think I got you together about that doing this whole damn thing about having your ducks in a row. Um, listen, let's let this be a learning experience, Trey, Lawan. Let this be a learning experience. Let this be a teaching experience. For one, do not lower your, your rates for nobody, especially she been out of goddamn thing. Do not lower your let me tell you something, uh Trey. If it was Gucci, Prada, Louis, Balmain, or Balmon, whoever, uh Givenchy, if it was designers like that, they wouldn't lower their damn rates for that bitch. And she would have found the way to pay their damn rate. But yet, when it comes to the black designers who people really may not know like that, like that, like that, but they have great work, they're always expected to take a low ball offer or to take the lowest offer that somebody gives them. And y'all black folk need to stop doing that shit. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Natalia. Mm -hmm. I ain't say your name wrong, friend. Thank you for your cash out, boo. Um, always love the shade you give. Well, I'm glad you love the shade I give, friend, because a lot of other people, they don't uh, really appreciate the shade like that. But y'all black people really need to thank you, Natalia. But y'all black people really need to stop lowering y'all standards for these C-lips, to these our list celebrities, and when I say our list, I mean reality TV celebs. Stop lowering your standards for them, especially a bitch like Sheree. Now, listen, Candy wouldn't even do that. Candy wouldn't have done you like that, and I believe that. Kenya wouldn't have did you like that. I believe that. I even go so far as to say Drew wouldn't have did you like that, and I believe that. I don't think Sonya would have did you like that. I don't think so, because they're all black women who are also all entrepreneurs. And I'm more than sure they already know that a lot of the times they're expect. Why do y'all think Tyler Perry decided to pass on BET? And I don't blame him because it's like they was trying to charge him iPhone prices for goddamn BET's old Android ass. No, sir, Bob. And I didn't blame him for that. I and I don't care how much uh, money that TP made. It's the principle of the damn thing. Just like I didn't blame him for not accepting that offer that they were trying to give him, I wouldn't have blamed you for saying, bitch, is you stupid? You're supposed to be she by, she by charade. You supposed to be she broke the internet. You got you sitting in the ever living lap of luxury to let you tell it, but I'm supposed to lower my price to make you feel good? Why would I do that? So yeah, when it comes to that, I blame that on you too, friend. I do, because I wouldn't have lowered my price for her at all. And I'm going to need for all of y'all black people to stop doing that. If a person isn't going to pay you your worth, go to somebody else. That somebody was just not your blessing, but somebody is. You understand? That person may not be your blessing, but somebody is. So just wait for that somebody. Stop lowering y'all standards and lowering y'all prices and lowering y'all sales j j j just to appease these folk. And they, when they would never do that for you, look at what she did for you. Nothing. The only thing that got exposed is your hands, your well manicured hands at that. But unless people can look at your hands and say that that's Trey, she ain't did nothing for you. Yes, this is a real life lesson for everyone listening. Know your words, know your worth and your tax, period. 
I wouldn't have lowered nothing for that hoe. Not one damn thing. Um, now let me see. Do I got anything else for Trey? I don't think so. I don't know, Trey. I just I I need you to be a lot more smarter next time, friend. Don't come up. You can't cause see, you can't get up here with a resume as big as yours, but you make a dumbass decisions. You like you can't do that, friend. You gotta pick a struggle. <laughs> You got to pick a struggle, friend. You you cannot do that. You can't do that. Now, let's get on down to she by pan hand. You're trash. Um, you're weak. You're the bottom of the totem pole. You're scum underneath my broke ass slide. All right. Um, I would step on you before I step on a roach. Matter of fact, I would step on you before I step on a flying hissing cockamore roach. How about that? The roach can live before I let you. Because, and this is why, Sheree, you're always going to have the problems that you have in life. Because even now, with everything that you done went through from your past to now, you still haven't learned your damn lesson. You still float around here feeling as if somebody owes you something or feeling like you could constantly go out here and use somebody to try to to try to keep to try to keep this fake Barbie Barbie doll lifestyle image that you seem that you want to have for yourself. And every time you do that, she about not a goddamn thing. You always get brung to the carpet with your real damn life. You couldn't even pay this man 15 Five thousand dollars was a lot of money for you, Sheree. Then how did you ever get your business started? If five thousand dollars is a lot for you, Sheree, how did you manage to afford the shit toe that's in your mama name? You walk around here getting shit done to your face. How are you able to afford that? But you can't pay this man. You getting your titties done, but you can't pay this man. You go on to Portugal, but you can't pay this man. Like I'm just I, I like I like. Is it me? Am I slow? If if it's me, y'all, please tell me it's me. Cause I'm I'm just confused. And you go through life, float floating your way through life, feeling like nothing bad is gonna happen to you, or feeling like karma is just gonna somehow skip you back. You I, look, Sheree, you're gonna continue to have a hard life being on Real Housewives and all. You will always and forever have a hard damn life. The way you treat people, the way you talk to people, the way you handle people. People can't even do you a solid in, 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 in hopes that you would do right by them. This man did you a solid in hopes that you would at least do right by him by at least having his face shown on TV. You couldn't even do that. She spend her money on things she wants and not things she needs. I agree with that one. She could have acknowledged him, but she's a bum. Yeah, she could she, like she could like his whole thing was I I would have appreciated the acknowledgement because he would have it's it would have been seen by so many people. We did like what she gave out there. What she gave out there was real cute. All of us that reviewed the show, even though we didn't see it for her and don't see it for her, we still went up for the fashions because they were cute. And you did a good thing by giving somebody that could be considered an unknown. You could have been a blessing to that man in so many damn ways, but what did you decide to do? Thank you, Sabrina, for your cash app, baby. Thank you so much. You speak the truth. <laughs> Thank you, Boo, for your cash app, Sabrina. One, one, one. I totally appreciate your cash app, baby. Um, 
Anybody else, feel free. It is welcome, honey. Please, please consider, consider. Um, the nerve to come for Candy. You never hear about Candy not paying her bills. Yeah, you never hear Candy not paying people. I ain't heard nowhere with Team Twirl never paid nobody. Everybody up there on that cast has paid for their services. And it's, but see, that's another, but see, I already spoke on that, but I'm going to say it again. Trey, that's why I, I, I got an issue with you, friend. Because again, you were told and you were warned. It was shown on national TV. <laughs> okay. It was shown on national TV that she don't pay her bills and she do not pay people. She do not pay her debts. This is why Sheree will not be truly successful ever. She is glam ever. She will never be successful. She's a scammer, just like the Scots. Well, I don't know about the Scots being scammers. All right. So I, I can't speak on that. I don't necessarily know about the Scots being scammers. Thank you so much, Sheila. Thank you so much, Sheila, for your cash app. Excellent show today. Thank you, boo. Thank you. Thank you for being here, love. I can't speak on y'all know I love the Scots. I do. And I y'all y'all already know that. I love y'all know that's my husband. All right. I love me some more. So that's my husband. That's going to always be my hood. I can't speak on the Scots for being scammers or whatever, because I don't really know nothing about that. But in my opinion, she better not a goddamn thing. If it's true what they say, she better not a goddamn thing. Got them be. OK, if what they say about the Scots is true, because I don't know. But even with that having been said, nah, I think she better not a goddamn thing. Got them be. Even when it comes to that, I think they got them be. And I, I, that's just my opinion. All right. Because Sheree has been a scheming ass thief for all of this long time. It ain't nothing ever going to change for her, honey. Did Sheree ever pay Drew for the party she threw? Look, I don't know none of them housewives other than Heather Gay from 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 them stinking ass salt wives. OK, Heather Gay is the only salt wife that follow me. I follow her and we interact with each other. Don't none of them hoes around there follow me. I mean, Candy will watch, but that's about it. OK, so I don't have no no. You know what I'm saying? I can't say for sure. I'll, but I will say this. Drew, if she didn't pay you back for that, now's the time to come out. <laughs> okay. Now's the time to come out, Drew. I'ma have I'ma have an intervention for you so that whole uh denture grip has can be let go and I'm going to sponsor the divorce. First of all, Nola, you is not going to make me divorce my husband, okay? Because me and Tisha is on the same type of time. We know he ain't shit, but that's our ain't shit ass nigga, okay? And we going to be down and we finna rock with him. Girl, my daughter don't understand about that. Like, we love us some more, so we ain't going nowhere, girl. Like, we've been telling y'all that, I don't know how long many times we got to let y'all know this. She ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. We just as comfortable in our skin. We comfortable in the skin we in. Skin I'm in. All right. Shout out to Cameo. We, we, we cool. Don't worry about us. All right. We, we worry about she not paying for. <laughs> All right. That's who we here to get. Not the Scots. We going to get the Scots next Saturday. Because that's when they come back on next Saturday. I already got the link made for that. So I advise y'all to go around there now, hit that like one and set your reminder. Uh, we going to gag them next Saturday. <laughs> All right. Her business ain't a priority. The idea of it sounds good to her. Right. And I, I, I believe that she's been working on this since Real Housewives of Atlanta season one back in 2008 y'all she been working on this are y'all listening to me she been working on this since i was a sophomore in college depending on 
2008. Depending on what part of 2008, I was either a sophomore in college or a junior in college, depending on when in 2008. She been working on this shit since. Do y'all know how long ago that was? Do you? Joyceanne was still alive. All right. I had just turned 2021, 20, probably. Just started being able to buy alcohol legally. You know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all know how, how long ago that was, girl? I was with trade that I shouldn't have been with. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a whole bunch of things that I shouldn't have been doing. That was my first time smoking reefer. All of that. Like, do y'all know how long ago that was? Like, <sighs> 2007. That's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. That's because if it was in 2007, I was for sure a freshman in college or I was a sophomore in college, depending on what part of 07 we talking. We are now in 2023. I'm overgrown and rusty. I'm 35. I'm a 35 year old. I am. You understand me? No parents no more because my mama passed in 2018. Like so much shit done happened since 2007 to 2023. And she's just now getting this out. But look what's going on. We can't even celebrate you. And we all, we rooted for you, Sheree. We rooted for you. We wanted this for you so bad because of how long it took you. So this was almost another fashion show with no fashion. She owed this man all them, all them faces she <laughs> tried on. <laughs> no, I ain't fucking with you, girl. Not, <laughs> not all these faces she keep trying on. I'm done with y'all, honey. Right. Cairo was sleeping on an air mattress first to that mansion before Bob, a sweat box named Bob, threw your ass up out of there because he ain't want to pay for that shit no more. Well, she was real trash for that because I was like, well, damn, Bob. I mean, whatever to Sheree, but she got your turn, nigga. What they going to do? But yeah, you made a point. Like, he was a polar Cairo. That's back when Cairo was love and innocent and very much so handsome because how he looked now, honey, I girl, but we ain't even getting on that. That ain't important. That ain't impertinent to this. Okay. <laughs> like. <sighs> One bedroom and air mattress in the living room. She, <laughs> she never should have been on. Charade, the least accomplished on Roa. She is. I knew she was a fluke when she did that fashion show with no fashions. I could go to the museum to see paintings. <laughs> now that you could go to the museum to see paintings. I'm done with y'all. Why is y'all roasting this lady like that? Good afternoon, Teresa. How you doing, friend? We just up here gagging Sheree for the, the next nine minutes because then that's two hours that y'all would have had. Me. And then I could go on ahead and end this. All right. Um, she threw her grandfather a party with whose money? Probably this nigga money that she owe. <laughs> All right, whose money? His money that she was supposed to pay him with. That's how she paid for that party, with his money. The gag is that's probably how she paid for her dinner, her her tired, late, booty ass birthday dinner with that man money. I'm talking about something with who money? His money. That's why he calling her ass to the carpet now with his money. All is well, T. Yeah, all well with me. You know what I'm saying? Life is life and right now, honey. These expenses is through the roof. So thank you guys so much for the cash apps and the PayPal's. It is greatly appreciated. Because, honey, let me tell you something. I got to get the fuck from out of here. 
all right, New York is just way too, it, it's too rich for my blood right now. You know, I need to move back here once I hit the hundred thousands on YouTube. Did, did, I might can be able to afford it, but that, that's a huge might. All right, because up here, bitch, you probably get you probably got to make Beyonce and Jay Z type of money to be able to afford to live. Even in the damn ghettos, honey, it's high as hell up here. I need to move back to the Commonwealth, at least in the Commonwealth. You know what I'm saying? I know what to expect from them, and it ain't that bad. Because up here, in the way they like the nickel and dime you. Twenty five hundred was nothing. It shouldn't be nothing to somebody like Sheree. And that was Trey's. Look, again, this is why I say I'm not going to give Trey too much because I think his thing was. Well, even if I may not get everything, at least I will get some type of kickback about being shown on the show. But she didn't even want that. Like. This man, and Rwan, pulled so many favors for you. He was putting in his own money for your shit. And you couldn't even do him the simple solid of even him being seen putting you in your dress. Him being seen putting your models in the dresses. Him being seen, you know what I'm saying, in small little scenes or whatever, sewing or or or, or printing your, your tight ass label on that cheap ass shit or you know, something like he, he could have been seen being in a, a business meeting with you that would have been enough hey y'all this is my de sitting in your confessional so today i'm going to go and sit with the designer for you know she by sheree um you know what i'm saying uh what's his name Ch uh trey lawan i'm about to sit down with him so that we could discuss some things about what i want like you couldn't even do that for the damn man like i ain't never seen a bitch that's supposed to be rich that's constantly looking for handouts like Come on, <laughs> come back to the DMV team. I'm going to her because it's too high up here. Like I try, I was up here for five years, girl. I can't do it no more. Like it's just like, girl, they they is breaking me, honey. They breaking me. It's stuff I want to do and I can't because I'm paying expenses up here. It's too much. Don't come to Atlanta. I ain't coming to. You think I look? I told y'all I can't chill around a bunch of punks. So you can bet your bottom dollar, honey. Atlanta is the last place I'm coming to. <laughs> okay. Now I will go and visit my people to Atlanta. You know, Jamie, House of Aaron, Candy Pants, you know what I'm saying? Torin, Round there to OLG, Brian Round there. Y'all know that's my sis. I'll go around. I, I, I will visit. But I'm not, no ma'am. <laughs> But that's what honest people do. She's a scammer. Yeah. Then she couldn't take credit for it. Sharia is a fraud. Well, he said that she didn't take credit for it. She gave somebody else the credit. I think she said she gave her stylist the credit. I think that's what he said. Am I? Did I get that right? I think he said she gave the stylist the credit, but she didn't give him the credit. He the one that designed every damn thing. Which is another thing, Trey. Like again, stop lowering your prices. She didn't say she was a designer. Yeah, she didn't say she was a designer, did she? I don't think she said she was a designer. I don't know. I, and now that I think about it, I think she did say she was a designer back in two thousand seven. <laughs> Back into because I think it was Mims. I was watching Mims before I did my lab, and he played a clip from season one when she was sketching and doing that shit. Then, so I think she did then said that she was a designer. Now she's saying that she's not, but then she definitely said she was a designer because she had sketches and she was acting like she was sketching and all the rest of that. Yeah, years back, she did claim to be a fashion designer. Yeah, she did in season one. I thought so. Back in the day when she first, I thought so. I said, no, nah, she didn't. Maybe not now, 
But Sheree has definitely tried to make herself out to be a designer. Come to Chicago. Eh. Eh. What part? <laughs> okay, because y'all know I'm a bougie bitch. All right? I'm a bougie bitch. I'm a bougie cunt. All right? I, what part of Chicago? As long as it ain't no South Side, North Side, um, West Side, because they say the West Side really ain't all that either. What part? I come to the rich white part. I go to the rich white women part of Chicago. Then I then I might think about it. <laughs> okay, because I ain't living nowhere with a bunch of niggas. No, sir. Back in the day with the original nose, I'm done with you. Who is that? Spiritually imperfect? Shut your ass up. <laughs> Thank you, love, for your cash out, boo. I love you to pieces. Thank you, baby. You are too funny. I try. I appreciate y'all for thinking I'm funny. I try. I don't think I... Y'all be thinking I be playing, but I, I, I be serious about a lot of the stuff that I say. I don't be playing for real, for real. A lot of the times, I be dead serious. The north side is where all of the white holes stay. Well, I be around there. Call me what y'all want. I'd much rather be around there with the white fish to be around a bunch of damn niggas because I see what y'all got going on around there in Chicago. I ain't got no parts. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Listen, y'all close to being Florida at this point, and that is not a compliment. So <laughs> don't let me stop. <laughs> like Lincoln Park. Oh, no. God. Lincoln Park, you must be from Hampton. <laughs> You must be from Hampton, Tamika, if you talk about some damn Lika Park. Who said Lika Park? Tamika, talk about some damn Lika Park. Because it's a, it's a Lika Park in Hampton. Well, it was a Lika Park in Hampton, Virginia that was ghetto, fat, and projetic. And they tore that hoe down. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, stuff like that, I don't want to live around. Yeah, that ain't me. That ain't my ministry. That ain't my judge. I can't brain trade to places like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm rich, classy fish. I don't do that. Okay, I don't want to be nowhere around a whole bunch of niggas. Uh-uh. The closest I've been around a whole bunch of niggas was high school and college. One, high school was predominantly black. Two, both of the college I attended was HBCUs. That was that that's that's as far as I'll go. <laughs> okay. And that's why it's funny because you serious. I am. As a heart attack, as a stroke girl. As serious as the as serious as the stroke the bet lady had, which is why her mouth always twits. T, didn't you say you weren't gonna do that because you were a nurse and that's not funny? My bad, bet lady. I ain't finna do you like that. And no, no offense to, to my stroke patients. I love y'all to pieces, honey. We in this struggle together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um I tell you to come here to Cali, but it's high as heck to live here too, but the weather is great. I mean, maybe Kia, but y'all got to deal with mudslides and hurricanes, typhoons and shit. I don't want to deal with that either. <laughs> okay? I don't feel like waking up and then my house all the way down the bottom of the hill because of a damn mudslide or <laughs> or because of the whole plate tectonics. Y'all remember that the plate tectonics that we learned in school and all of that? When the plates collided, and then the whole earthquake come. I see, I don't feel like dealing with all that. Before you come, check the encode level and the zip code. You better believe it, Ray Ray. But yeah, y'all, that's really all I got though. I ain't gonna keep y'all for too much longer. Um, but I just really wanted to give y'all this because I know this was about to be like a little hot topic. And, um, you know, I know this was something that everybody was going to try to pick up on. So I decided to get in where I fit in, girl. Where do I want to go? Um, the Carolinas. I want to build me a nice, cute little um, house on the prairie somewhere in the Carolinas. I like North Ca North Kakalaka. The Kakalakas, the North Kakalaka or the South Kakalaka, I would do. Hands down. North Kakalaka and South Kakalaka, I'm all here for the Kakalakas. I am. Bama, 
Gabby, I love you to pieces, but my bitch bye fan is down there and I don't feel like getting it. But bitch bye. Ain't uh uh. Mm. Child, please. They're gonna hang my gay ass up from a goddamn tree to be to be shown in this play. Cause y'all know that, that that that's what them Caucasians do to um to folk like us around there. No shade, Bama, but we just call it, we we call it, we look. Bama, okay. Do not get mad with me. All right. I, I'm just, I, you know. <laughs> okay. No to the no, no to the Alabama. Hell no to the Mississippi. Um, uh, Louisiana. I mean, since they fixed the levees, maybe. <laughs> okay, since they fixed the levees, maybe. Um, I, I might get a vacation rental there. That's probably as far as I'll go. Um, Wilmington, North Kakalaka is by the beaches. Okay. I, you know, I love me a beach. I don't get in the beach water, though, because it's nasty. But I love me a beach. Come back to the Commonwealth. Just listen. I'm thinking. My wheels is turning. I'm just playing T. I'm trying to get out. I know you is, Gabby. How the hell are you going to try to get me to come around there? You're trying to get the hell out. <laughs> Go on down there to Rocky Mountains or Fayville. I'm down for Fayville. I got family in Fayville, as a matter of fact. Somewhere down there. Just stay here in NYC. I will not. Y'all too high. <laughs> I will not. Y'all too high. <laughs> okay. Y'all way too high for my for, for, for my for my blood. Charlotte, no to Fayville or a fate of him? I don't ever heard of them. But I got an aunt that stay in Charlotte. I got an aunt in the I got a couple aunts and cousins that stay around now. I don't know. Maybe. But let me ask y'all this before I end this, because we passed the two hour mark. Is anybody looking forward to part two of the reunion? I really want to know that. Are any of y'all looking forward to part two of this reunion? No, no, no. Come to Minneapolis. I never thought about y'all, but that, that could be, that could be, you know, I ain't never thought about it, but I ain't got nothing against Minneapolis. No, not really, pass, nope, nope, no. In part two, Andy better get Marlo. Okay, we'll see. Not really. No, no. <laughs> nah. This whole reunion could have been 45 minutes, to be honest. <laughs> Hell nah. I think you try to help her as a friend, but at the same time, she's a very cunning personality. I agree with that. No, but I watch her review. It, it, that's what I'm talking about. No, because it's only good when you recap it, child. But she always don't like to pay, wondering why she just didn't bring his own contract and make someone sign. Stacy, that is my that that is my biggest thing about this. Why didn't he have a contract? That is my whole thing. And I know people are gonna say, well, you know, he probably thought because it was her. She would do she would do right by it, or maybe he thought with the exposure that he would reap it back, or so on and so forth. But even with that, my mental, the way I think, I would have been like, Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Because let's not act like she paid people. Let's not act like people wasn't telling me not to trust her. So 
with that, yeah, let me go hit up uh, my my lawyer and draw up something, and then me and her could go and sit down, and I present this to her. Then I'll see what type of time she on. If she takes it and be like, well, I'm going to take it, discuss it with my lawyer, and we'll be in contact, or if she'll just leave it there. I, I want to see if Ralph going to be on the He is. Ralph going to be on the second half. I think that whole second half, majority of that, is probably just going to solely be Ralph and Drew. Yeah, he's going to be up there. I think he's the only husband that's going to be up there this season. I don't think Todd going to be up there, Ross, Heath. I don't think none of them going to be up there. I think it's only going to be Ralph. Ralphie boy, that's what I call it. Didn't her and Kenya audition the models on the show? Yeah, her, Kenya, and Rewind. You remember that that was when Rewind got, got Team Tour together, or at least tried to get Team Tour together. That was the last season. And I doubt they're going to deep dive into Candy and Marlo beef. Marlo is going to make up some excuse for why she acted like that two years after the fact. I agree. I could tell Ralph Mama didn't love him because she didn't shape his head. Y'all know what? Gabby, on that note, y'all, I'm... um. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl, for your cash app, baby. Thank you so much. I love you more, Pooh. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. And I'm glad you enjoyed the laugh, babe. I really am. Thank you, Puddin. I appreciate you. You think they're going to skip past Marlo and Candy? They need to because I'm over them too at this point. Honestly, I'm over Candy and, and Marla. I don't know. I just feel like, the, because for me, I feel like their beef is getting just as stale as Marlo and Team Twirl's beef. It's stale. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. You know what I mean? I'm ready for the second half because this season will finally be over. I agree. Oh, I do want to see what these text messages are talking about. What text me? Oh, the text messages that um, who is responsible for the text messages? Did Ralph bring the text messages? Did Ralph bring the text messages, or was it uh cousin Bentley? Because Cousin Bet Lady was sitting over there just saying, yep, yep, uh-huh, yep. And I'm going to, listen, I'm going to tell y'all right now, personally, I, I, I feel as though, call me what you want, but for me, I feel like the Bet Lady probably is the one that Ralph is running around here sleeping with, doing stuff with, and so on and so forth with. That's really what I think. Personally, and, I, and I'm going to tell y'all now, since we up here. I, be I personally believe that this situation that Ralph was trying to do, I think Ralph was trying to pull a Stevie J, Mimi, and Hosseline or a uh, um, uh, 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 Peter Guns, Tara, in a Mina situation. And what I mean by that is I felt like he wanted to have his mistress and his wife up here at the same damn time. That's really what I think. Because in my opinion, She's not she's not giving this like a, a, a cousin type thing. She's giving it like she's fucking him. That, that's what the bet lady is giving. The bet lady is giving. I'm coming at you about this because I'm with him and I'm laid up with him. He's with me when he's not with you. And I'm tired of seeing him going through this. So I'm just going to be here to take up for you uh, to take up for him and bash you and your chick. Because think about it. Why else would he just sit up and allow the cousin bet cousin bet lady to bring up this woman's child in the adoption and he not get her together about it while simultaneously making tweets at Drew talking about some he loves Josiah and he's going to continue to be there for Josiah. How can you love Josiah and it's going to continue to be there for him, but you're not going to get your cousin together 
for bringing him up in the middle of this toxic ass foolishness that y'all overgrown adults got going on. See, when dudes let girls do shit like that, it's because they're fucking them. Because if she was just a cousin, he would let her know. Cuz, look, if you want to get at her for me, that's fine. But leave Josiah out of it. Leave Josiah out of it. Leave the adoption out of it. Leave all of that out of it. Because that has nothing to do with you. And it has nothing to do with this situation. That, that's what a guy would do if, it, if it's really a cousin. And it ain't nothing like that going on. He wouldn't mind getting his cousin together. But his child, it like nah, cause you tripping. Go sit down somewhere. Like that's what he would do. I'm telling y'all, my opinion. He he's trying to do a Stevie J, Hasselina and Mimi, or he was trying to do a Peter Guns, Tyra and Amina. That's that's what I gather from it, and it backfired. But they can't come out here now and say that they screwing or they doing this, they doing that because they came up here being cousins, so they can't do that now. But she's just going to take up for him <laughs> like I, like, like, like I, I could be wrong. I just don't think I am. <laughs> OK, I could be wrong. I just don't think that I am. Absolutely, freaking lootly T <laughs> for sure. Courtney Raquel Rose is not Ralph Pittman's type. You'll be shocked, friend. Niggas have lost they lost their families to 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 holds worse than her. Case in point, do y'all remember the maid that that used to be the maid for Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then she got pregnant, but the whole entire time Arnold Arnold was the damn pappy of that baby, and everybody looked at that maid and everybody was like, "Ew." Uh huh. So y'all need to get up out of this thing feeling like, well, he ain't his, he wouldn't do that. That ain't his type. That ain't this. That ain't that. Niggas like Ralph ain't got no type. Just like folk like Arnold Schwarzenegger ain't got no damn type. Like, I, I mean, let's say, a lot of the times, most of these dudes ain't got no type. They just willing to give the dick to the hoe that's willing to take it. And it just, it just so happened to be, yeah, she may not be the best looker, but the pussy good. So they're going to keep her around. I mean, I'm just saying, a lot of y'all women need to get up out of that, feeling like that ain't his type. It ain't got to be the fucker. <laughs> it ain't got to be. Like, <laughs> I told you, dudes have ruined their marriages or their relationships for less. I mean, he... That's his sad chick. Yes, friend, I believe that as well. That's a fact, T. I think Bet Lady got close to Drew and got those text messages out of her phone and gave them to Sheree. I think Bet Lady was a plant from the beginning. Could be. Thank you for your cash out, boo. I don't know who sent it. Thank you, TDG. Appreciate you, TDG. Enjoying the live. She been out of got she been out of goddamn thing. Thank you, boo. Thank you for your thank you for your cash out. I mean, I'm just no shade, friend. I see what you're saying. All right. Because you're right. To me, listen, to me, she wasn't Bryce type, but you saw Bryce was with her. So we got to get up out. We got to get up out of that thing, y'all. We do. That is the biggest thing that we do a lot. And we got to quit doing that. We really do. Okay, she may not be his type, but that pussy is. And to a lot of men, that's all that that's all they need. And they just happy with that. And plus, Ralph need a mouthpiece because he knows none of them other ladies on that show is going to be his mouthpiece, which is why I also agree with Drew when she said that Ralph was coaching her. That makes sense because none of them other ladies up there are going to. And, and speaking of which. It's always respect black women. Black women need to be protected. Black women never get protected and da 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 da. Y'all, y'all love to say that. 
But let me tell y'all what bothered me. I had people under my comments, under my last Let's Talk, when I talked about Ralph and Drew going at each other over social media, right? And I had so many Black women getting under my comments, basically caping for Ralph. Well, Drew need to quit lying. Well, Drew need to stop being a liar. Well, Drew lied all of this time. Well, Drew this. Well, Drew that. My thing is, yes, Drew lied a lot. Drew's lies have nothing to do with what the hell Ralphie boy got going on with her and cousin Bentley. Her lies have nothing to do with the way that Ralph been treating Josiah since he came into the picture. Drew's lies and trying to make her family seem so perfect when it really isn't has nothing to do with this. I mean, it really doesn't. I'm not saying Drew ain't a liar. I'm not saying Drew ain't never lied about shit, but her lies have nothing to do with this. My opinion. And there were so many black women that were sitting over here trying to cape and ride for Ralph because all them hoes lie with the exception of candy pants. All them hoes lie. All of them. Team Twirl done told lies. She been out a goddamn thing. Her whole existence, her whole life is a goddamn lie. We know that. Like, I mean, I, like, and again, yes, Drew lied. But does Drew lied make me sympathize with Ralph? Absolutely not. As much as Drew lied. I don't know, like women kept, like a lot of y'all women came up under the comments. Y'all were so upset at how other black content creators really wasn't caping for, for Spice like that. And, oh, y'all don't understand because it, it's about a black woman and da, da 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 But then you got the same black women sitting over here wanted to jump on Ralph's side because Drew told a couple lies. I, I, I mean... Y'all know what? I'm just going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just going to shut the fuck up. And I'm just going to let it be what it's going to be. Because it's about to be ladies that's going to come up in the comments. Well, T, that ain't the same. And T, nah, T, that, that ain't the same as this. And nah, T, that, I, I know how y'all do. Y'all do it all the time. Y'all come up under here and cake for the fuck shit all the time. But get mad with me because I ain't want to cake for grace. And I still don't cake for grace. I don't. And I had so many people mad with me and wanted to unfollow me and all of this. But look at the shit that y'all got. But look at what y'all say. It don't take my word for it. It's under my damn comment. Go under the, the last let's talk I did about Ralph and Drew. And you will see it for yourself. I ain't got to make no lies. <laughs> I mean, I look, I, I, I'm just, li listen, I'm just saying. Is always protect black women until it ain't. We supposed to rally cry for grace. But these same black women just don't seem to have nothing for Drew because she told a fib here and there. And, and her few fibs just erases all of the shit that Ralph been doing to her since we get since they got up here. We're just supposed to forget all of that because she told a few fibs. And he's now somehow in the right, and 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 people are now want the cake for him. I and it's black, it's black women. I never understand it. <laughs> I never understand it, but maybe it ain't for me to understand. This is hilarious. He need his own show. From your, from your mouth to God's ears, friend, from your mouth to God's ears, it might happen one day. Who knows? Ralph hates Drew, and the feeling is mutual, in my opinion. Ooh. Now, I don't think Ralph, I don't think Drew hates Ralph. I, I, I and I, you know what? 
I I ain't even going to say that Ralph hates Drew. I just think that Ralph just don't want to be with her. Honestly, that's what I think. I just think Ralph just simply don't want to be with her no more. I think Ralph done checked out of the of you know the relationship of the marriage. I think he been checked out a long time ago. I think that he tried to stick it out. You know what I'm saying? Because she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I figured that, my opinion, I think he was like, well, she's on this show, which makes him even more trash because that being the case. So you using her. If y'all feel that way, then I feel like that's the only reason why he was with her all this time, to use her. <laughs> he just wanted to be on Real Housewives. <laughs> Bless me. He just wanted to be on Real Housewives. If that's the case, I don't know. Ralph is a is a good looking man, which you can't deny. I mean, girl, look, Ralph is fine. Like me and Scotty, we done told y'all plenty. Me and Scotty done told y'all several times what Drew should have just did with Ralph. You better get that dick and go. And don't call that nigga no more. That's what me and Scotty told you you should have did, Drew. Me and Scotty been telling you this <laughs> since you came. You should have got that dick and went. And don't call that nigga no more because you spent. That's what you should have did, Drew. But no. You do what most women do. You get you a nice piece of Diaga and it's real good. And then you want to try to make a husband out of it. And th now this is what you got to deal with. Like I said, I don't think this is something that Ralph just started doing for the cameras. I believe that Ralph been treating Drew like this. But Drew was so in love and or just wanted a husband because she is cogent. She probably had her mama in her ear, daddy in her ear. You should be married. You should be this. You should be that. And I just felt like she, you know, she tried to seek it in him. Without really knowing what all comes with it. And because he, in my opinion, maybe she felt like, well, we're on the show. Maybe he wouldn't do her like that on the show. But why would he stop? <laughs> it's a pattern. This is y'all. This is what y'all do. I don't know. Because I, I, it sounds like I'm blaming Drew. And in a way I am. But <laughs> in, in, in a small way I am. But um. Lord, Drew. <laughs> the gag is, I believe him and Drew have an understanding. I don't think so. Or, may, or maybe. Maybe they did have an understanding. And then once she figured out who Cousin Bet Lady really was, that took the understanding out of the equation. Because now you're trying to bring this hoe. Not only is you trying to bring her up in my face, but you bringing her up on the show too? Nigga, you in disrespect. <clears throat> they tired of being each other's beers. See, Gabby, and with that, y'all, I'm 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 gone. <laughs> okay. I'm gone because I ain't got time for Gabby. All right, because I'm on your side. Because be clear, we all know what Drew got going on. But I'm, just, I'm gonna be real honest with you, Ralph. The way you moving and grooving around here, well, if you is Ralph, my DMs is giving you the real tea. All right, and I, I'm gonna throw Scotty a bone, and his DMs is um Scotty by nature. All right, you can hit you can hit both of us. Uh, we don't mind tag tag team you. We could do it at the same, we could do it in the same vicinity, or you could go to his room and then you could come to my room or whatever the case may be. See, we down with that. You understand? And we're gonna show Drew what she should have did 13 years ago. <laughs> when we get that dick and go and not call that nigga no more. Drew. I think Drew thought the show might save the marriage. The only thing shows like this, Drew, do, Drew, is enhance your marriage uh, 
uh, from what it already is. What that means is if he was treating you trash off of TV, nine times out of 10, he's going to treat you like trash on TV. And the thing about it is, Drew, you and him been having problems since your first season. Y'all came on y'all first season with having problems with him going to Tampa and not letting you know where you're going and so on and so forth. Y'all came on the thing with, with problems. So <sighs> I don't know how Drew could have thought that. I really don't. Y'all came on first season with problems, Drew. Like, I, no more toxic D for you, T. <laughs> yeah. Sheree kind of smart. Don't sign or make any verbal agreements. I, listen, Stacy. most boosters are. Excuse me. Look at Mugshot. Excuse me, a Billy Goat name mug shot. Moving on. The show just highlight the problem. Absolute. Why nobody talk about where the hell Ross be? Ross probably got a huzzy in Houston. I don't think that about Ross. I, I feel, and that's an, listen, I don't believe that Ross is like, is like, Ralph. I don't. I, th I think Ross is just as loyal to Sonya as Todd is to Candy Pants, honestly. I, when I look at Ross, nothing about Ross makes me think that he and Sonya are going through the same type of issues that that Drew and Ralphie boy are going through. I don't. like, And, and I'm not saying that because I like Ross. I'm just saying it off of the vibe that I get from him. I don't get that he's running around out here dipping his dick in anything that tells him that he's handsome. I don't believe that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I, I when I look at Ross, I, I don't. I don't get that from him, y'all. I just don't. I don't. Maybe I'm being naive, but I don't get that from him. <laughs> like I say, I could be going, I could be naive, but I don't get that from him. Literally, Ralph went to Tampa at the beginning of season 13 and didn't tell Drew why. Thank you, Montrez. That's why I'm saying with Drew. Like, Drew, I hope you didn't think that because y'all came on the show with problems. Your husband being gone and you not knowing where the hell he at. Y'all came on that with, with, with this. <sighs> yes, yeah, Stacy. Thank you, Stacy, for your cash app, boo. Very entertaining. Love you. I love you too, baby. Thank you so much for your cash app. Yes, honey. Is there anything else I want to tell y'all before I get out of here? I don't think so. Is there anything else? Oh, uh, roast and review is gonna be tonight at 8 05. On... Hold on. Before I give y'all the wrong time. Eight thirty-five. All right, roast and review was gonna be tonight at eight thirty-five on Scotty by Nature TV channel. So definitely make sure that y'all are there for that. Y'all know roast and review. We talk about loving hip hop Atlanta. Um, and that's going to be a very interesting situation. So y'all make sure that y'all be there for that. Because again, I still feel the same way I feel about Grace. All right. I don't have none for her. Again, I feel bad that she got called a blue harang a, a, a harangatang in a blue wig. I, I feel bad that she got called that by, um, you know, Erica Mena old five year old ratatouille face looking ass. I, re I, I feel bad that she got called that from a friend who she thought was a friend. I feel bad that she had to go through that. You know, 
other than that, that's all the fuck I got for her, honey, because I ain't got no grace for grace. Um, and I to get mad with me. All right, please get mad with me. I don't care. Um, 830 Eastern time, which is my time. 8.35 my time is Eastern. So I guess for you it would be 7.35 if you were Central. Um, I mean, no, see, I, I, listen, because a lot of people can't, uh, look, a lot of y'all was hurting my feelings in these comments sitting over here trying to act like I was taking up for Erica Mena. Y'all know I don't like that bitch. Why would I take up for her over a black woman? At the same time, I don't have nothing for the black woman in this instance. I just don't. I don't. I, I, I feel bad that it happened to her. But that's all I got for her. I ain't got no grace for grace. None. You know what I'm saying? The people came up in here trying to make me feel away. And well, you must hate black women if you trying to cape for her. I never caped for her. All I said was they both was wrong. <laughs> That's not caping. But how is how is me saying both of them hoes wrong caping for Erica? When I got up here and I distinctly said, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I never know. I never understand it. I'm so late. Yeah, you real late, uh, boo. Grace needs to focus on healing that body and stay out of other people's business. Thank you. Because y'all remember in Tuesday night's episode, she jumping up about to fight Gumby. For what? Gumby didn't do nothing to you. Just like and, like this, this episode from Tuesday, that's all the proof that for y'all want to know why I ain't got no grace for her. This episode proved why I don't. Like, give all of that energy to Erica Mena, not to her friends, because they're not the ones that called you that. OK, they're not the ones that called you a baboon in a blue wig. They didn't do that. Give all of that energy to the bitch that did. Not, not her, like. I, I, ugh. I was told I was so racist because I'm Hispanic, because I'm a Hispanic. I feel like all bets are off when you mention anything pertaining to children. I mean, maybe, but friend, because you are a Hispanic friend, I'm just saying, maybe. And that whole probably would have deserved it. But you got to understand something, considering that, you know, Black folk, like they, they back in the gap. The Caucasians used to always consider us monkeys. Like they would call us monkeys, gorillas, apes, things like that. And that is why us as black people, we take real offense when people of other ethnicities want to turn around. And out of all the things you could have called us, it's a monkey. You understand me? So, I mean, I'm just saying, friend, I mean, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. If you did, whatever. I wouldn't. But, you know. Like you said, if somebody says something to you, they make you mad. I wouldn't. But um, I get it. I get it. But don't mention kids. I've been called the monkey too. I mean, look. Like I said, when you bring up somebody's child, parenting, whatever. Whatever you get back is what you get back. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it you you know. Look, friend, it's a slippery slope. Like I say, I wouldn't, you know, but because only because there are so many other things that you really can't read a bitch on. You know what I'm saying? But to each his own, friend. Have you seen Tokyo Tony's video about Grace being called the monkey? So horrible of her. Yeah, I saw that. I saw it on Scotty Channel. But what do y'all expect? Refried bean eater. See? Stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop. All right. Stop. Stop. 
See, because you doing what I wanted to do to Erica Mena on my review yesterday. Because I said in my review, there was so many things that I just wanted to straight up call her, but I ain't want to make none of my Latino or Hispanic subscribers feel away. <laughs> okay. I said, I ain't want to make none of them feel away. Because when you said the one person, everybody get hit. So I said, which is what happened in this instance, like Kirk and all of them talking about some, oh, so, so we black monkeys now. And I said, well, Kirk, no. She didn't say that about none of y'all other than Grace. So if Grace was to fill away, that's fine. Now, all the rest of y'all can be disappointed that she would go there. That's cool. And all of the rest of y'all could probably want to put her on ice for a little bit until y'all talk to her about the situation. And that's fine, too. But what I would love for my people to stop doing is if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Like how she called her that, I didn't get hit by that book. Because I wasn't called that. It had nothing to do with me. So I didn't get hit by that bullet. That didn't bother me to that extent. But I understood why people felt the way that they felt. And they had every right to feel the way that they felt. I just wasn't going to go on that bandwagon because I didn't feel hit personally. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like I told y'all, I don't look like nobody monkey. When I when I look in, in the mirrors, I see me. Not Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, Cranky Kong, King Kong, Magilla Gorilla. You know what I'm saying? Um, the chimpanzee at the local zoo. You know, Curious George. I, I, I don't see that when I look in the mirror and see myself. So I didn't feel hit. But I understood the people that felt the way and I was at fine. I ain't mad at that. I hate refried beans too, honey. Don't put I, I don't like beans, period. Don't put don't put no black beans in my Mexican nothing. I don't want no beans, no refried beans, no pinto beans, no black beans, no kidney beans, no beans. Grace appears to have moved on from this situation in which Grace said this is a part of the reality TV show business. So why are a lot of y'all all in y'all feelings and in y'all bag of feelings though everybody's supposed to cake when she don't even care like that? Uh, look, whatever, child. And that's just how I feel. Like she don't even give a shit like that. Why? Why should I go out here and stand on the front lines if she don't care like that? I'm not about to get my blood pressure ran up. The read I would have gave Venus, honey, please. <laughs> okay, Dola. I mean, I don't know. Like I say, I'm not here to make nobody feel the way that I feel. If y'all want to rally crap for grace, cool. I ain't one of them. I, I'm not I'm not that one. That's all. Just respect the fact that I ain't that one. And I will respect the fact that y'all are. And we cool. Because <laughs> I ain't got nothing for that bitch. Again, I say. And if that make me this and that make me that, then so be it. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Right. Um, anyway, y'all, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to give y'all. I gave y'all all I got. We segued to Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So I gave y'all a nice two hours and 41 minutes of my life. Um, 
Thank you guys so much for the cash apps that I received. Thank you guys so much for the PayPals that I received. It was greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for the likes, 266 likes. Y'all did y'all damn thing. Thank you so much to the couple of people that shared the video because I could see it from my other phone. Thank you to the channels that shared the video. Thank you to all of y'all. It was greatly appreciated. This was fun. This was fun. If she, if she by panhandling come out and want to refute anything that he done said, y'all already know we're going to be right back here to gag her ass because we know she lying. <laughs> okay, we know she lies, so we're going to be back here to gag her ass. Uh, and, but until then, y'all make sure to come back tonight on Scotty by Nature TV channel tonight at 8.45, 35 Eastern Time, 7.45 Central Time. Make sure that y'all are there when we gag some old about uh, love and hip hop Atlanta. And y'all already know me and Scotty, we're going to have a small love back and forth with each other because y'all know Scotty going to always be on that side, on that side, as he should. I ain't mad at it. Um, but y'all already know how I am and y'all already know how he is. So y'all already know how it's going to go. So definitely, so definitely to make sure that y'all are there. And um, until then, I'll holler at y'all. Bye.